Hey, hey, I want to shoot, baby. Oh, my God. What test, 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 test. All right, we good. <laughs> Some very ag- that was kind of a nasty. You got to just get test, your S's test, and your T's. <laughs> yeah, you got to get your S's and your T's out there. No, you don't, Mo. You know what I'm saying? Test. Oh, uh, uh, we've tested. Okay. <laughs> your mic is fine. Did we pass the test? Uh, pass no. The test. Okay. <laughs> no, we did not. Well, you didn't. Mic check, mic check, mic check. Yo, you wasn't outside. I don't oh my nigga, I, I was falling hear. all over the skate hear. rink. I don't want to hear. I was that. falling all over the skating rink when this one was out, huh? Yeah. Getting help from women. That's how you knew I was ill. Yeah, if a girl ain't help you up, you was trash. That's true for sure. Yeah, girls was helping me up in the skate rink. The girls, I think you're cute to help you up. Yeah, they That's was true. helping me. I was falling on purpose like a flop. <laughs> Yo, you're not even wearing skates, nigga. Get up. Performing your Nikes. Here we go. Much better, much better, much better. My apologies, my apologies. Oh, duh. The headphones in my ears. You can't hear, exactly. There you go. That's what it was. Yeah, shut up, Parks. <laughs> I'm not tired of your little sneaker jokes. I'm listening out this podcast. I'm letting you know, buddy. Mike check one, two, one, two, Mike check one. All right, where you was at when this was out, nigga? Yeah. Yeah, mom. Uh-huh. What was this? 99? I feel like this is 99. 98, 99? Yeah. I was in high school. Loser. Yeah. You were in school in 99? Yeah, sorry. Oh, people stay in jail. Some people stay in school in 99. But Maul can't act as cool as he act and have been in school in 99. Why not? Because you you was in school for the purple tape. You was in school for mad good shit. School was fun. Looking back. You ain't really give reasonable doubt the same way as me. Like, I wasn't... I was, I was gonna say, Joe, wouldn't school, have you yeah. been in school for purple? Oh yeah, I was too? in high school for the reason about that was like Yeah, you were still in school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that's when I was leaving. <laughs> oh, all right. He was in his own way out. He was outside yeah, the school. Yeah, so the like, per, per, purple tape was like You had why, to get out the house why, and act like you was going to school. Why still. why am I here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, let's see. A lot of people don't know us for real singing that hook. Uh, really? Don't know that. A lot of people don't, I'm telling you. A lot of people don't know. What other person I've told people that they're like, I'm lying. Like, what are you talking about? It sounds like forever. <laughs> Listen, Paul, so I'm just telling you what's going on out here. Microphone check one, two, what is this? New Joe uh, Button. Welcome to the Joe Button Podcast, episode 182. No, no, well, we 182 is correct. Savon is nodding his head, so I'm assuming I'm correct. I'm here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon is here. Severe rain out there. Boy, are we in a moody mood. I got the annoying <laughs> bam, bam, moody uh, mood. announcement on the phone today. Or flash floods. Yeah. I, I got it while I was in the Apple store, so like 900 of us oh, got gosh. it <laughs> at the same time. I was like, damn, my phone is intense today. <laughs> Fucking you Amber. trash if the iPhone tells you when there's a flood, though. <laughs> Fuck, I, look, look outside. But that's there for white people. I guess. It's not, that's, that's not there for Jersey us. gets a lot of floods, though. Yeah, but we don't give a fuck about the floods. It's only white people that are like, all the Amber Alert. Yeah. I don't know who white else. People, white people, white people batten too. down the hatches when they get that alert. Yeah, anytime batten I batten down, <laughs> batten down the hatches. Yeah, I batten down my hatches. Yeah, anytime Balls. I'm, <laughs> anytime I'm driving on the highway and they like have the big electric sign in the air that says, "Hey, this car is missing. Write this license plate number down." You know like, how many Hondas uh, on the road? I hope the or, white people get that accord. Yeah, <laughs> you know how many Hondas is on this yeah. highway right but now? Black people ain't writing none of that shit down. Nah, like, damn, Sally, right. <laughs> <laughs> poke a hole in the trunk, sis. Right. <laughs> Find your way home with the rest stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a piss at some point. <laughs> This is bad. That's terrible. (laughs) 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 I like that. Okay, Joe. You focus. I like that. Come on, Spotify Joe, nigga. I like the fact that you did. I'm here, man. Now I'm I'm in the building. Thank you. Finally, after two years. Yeah, I'm here now. Finally arrived. I'm here. Now we can sign his contract. Yeah, I'm here. (laughs) I'm in the building. (laughs) That would be awesome. Welcome, Mo. All right, so there's a lot to get to, five five minutes. Actually, there's not really a lot to get to, but it's there cool. Really We're going to find a bunch of shit to talk about. One being, Maul just snuck a major announcement on us. He's trying to compete with Wayne. You know, <laughs> Wayne, Wayne made a huge announcement. 
He made an announcement about an announcement. Yeah, boy, do I hate that. But it's Bring Wayne, and we love era. Wayne. We so love it. so oh, fuck yeah. it. Yeah, last time Wayne put an album out, that was when the announcement of the announcement was like yeah. the wave. Yeah, he don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know. Why well, never? Come on, Karen. He's definitely going to put like a trailer to a music video. I'm hyped. <laughs> With the Amelie <Emily> beat. <laughs> Wait, did he make the announcement? Yes. yes. We'll stand out. He said, fuck, fan, he said everybody stop. He said, fuck everybody it, stop. He said 5 p.m. I got, I was busy. Just, though. just okay. guess. Just guess. Because what, what could the announcement have been? Album coming? And and what's the album? The Carter 5. What are you fucking <laughs> like? The Carter 5. Oh, so he announced the Carter 5 at 5. Okay. He didn't even yeah. sound surprised. Okay. Yeah, he sounded like, damn, how y'all ain't know what was coming? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I've been teasing this for four years. So Wayne fucking with his album? <laughs> it looks like it. Okay. Let's it hope. looked like Wayne is feeling this shit. Okay. Um, but I didn't want to start there. Maul, Maul walked in whistling Dixie. Like, that was weird. You never came in whistling before. I was listening to music. Man. You never whistled to the music. Oh, yeah, you're right. And then you snuck in a major announcement. Would you like to do the honors or would you like me and Rory to make fun of you? Y'all can make fun of me. Maul snuck in a birthday announcement on us. Mm-hmm. Told us it's his birthday month. <laughs> said he was said, no, said he was ce- said he was celebrating month. all no, no, month no, no, long. No, 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 that's a fucking lie. I you did say no, that. Itinerary. itinerary. One that's party in LA with Brandon. No, no, no. no <laughs> one in Chicago I I, with one of the no, Bulls, I'm Zach not, Levine no, or somebody. No, I'm not. <laughs> you look who you got me for. <laughs> you look who you got one me for. You are gonna party with Zach Levine. No, I'm not. Don't do that because I fuck with Zach Levine. I fuck with Zach. I don't know him. No, I met him before. He's a pretty good guy. Don't do that. Great, great. I can see y'all partying together. No, <laughs> you can't. You at, what age, at what age do random. women have to stop with the birthday month shit? When they're born. No, it stopped. No, no it's just it's definitely. No, you got the women. It's very active. Yeah, it's active. No, They no. might be doing too much. They do like a whole quarter. No, see, yeah. all right. It's confession time. Okay. No, now I'm judging you niggas that still fuck with the chicks that, <laughs> chicks that, do, that do nine and ten birthday niggas parties that go for to City. Each party? That wave is over. That's, yeah, that's when we was all wilding on Twitter, 2011, 2012. Ma, go ahead and get your bag. Now, if you ain't getting a little Fashion Nova bag, you're like, you ain't got to do that. <laughs> like, yeah. You can waist trainer bag. You got eyelash, eyelid bag. I'm about to go. Eyelid I'm bag. going home to fight with Sin now over one of them little waist trainer bag thingamajiggies. I'm not playing with her. They asked you to wear one? Uh, well, I thought maybe how like good her box? Do. How how good her box got to be for you to go to like every one of her birthday like no, nah, that's nuts. Like if you at the, the the birthday party with the family, the dinner, if the that's brunch. Not your I don't know. If a, the that's you're a sick sick individual. I don't even know yeah, if you yeah, go like to your girlfriend. Yeah, you, yeah, you still got to skip a couple of your girl shit. <laughs> yeah, at least. I'm, I'm trying not to go. I'm Wednesday. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to do shit for Simba birthday next month, but. I already did that on, on anniversary, so I, I ruined it. Yeah, you got to send to it. You got to do one of yeah. them. Yeah, no, now she started two months early. Hope someone has something planned for October. <laughs> <laughs> right, drop them hints, man. Yeah, for real. That's not even a hint. <laughs> that's right. that's telling me. Right. So, Ma, I think niggas like you who, like, don't really acknowledge y'all birthday, like y'all try to just play it cool, y'all are really corny. I, that, I, there has to be a middle ground But I never announced my I just I don't know I think that's cool well, Yo it's my birthday Like No not like that How do you even that. have that conversation You can subtly throw that shit in Like yo I might do a dinner Or something tomorrow Even if you're not gonna Oh yeah like yo It's gonna, just, it's gonna just, rain tomorrow I'll be like damn It's my birthday It's raining on my birthday Like that's corny Like yeah. how am I supposed to get, How do you get that off Like I'm, I don't I don't know how you get that off It's like either you ask me When your birthday And I'll tell you You, or, gotta, you gotta create through it <laughs> Okay, well, it is my birthday, so <laughs> birthday roll has create, to be a bit more strategic. Create, creators create. All right, it's my birthday, fellas. Hey, hey, you made fun of me when I was standing in front of the mirror holding my baby barefoot looking at myself, right? Right, you are. So get your ass, get your ass in there and figure it out. All right, it's my birthday. You got a birthday Thanks. caption coming? I hope not. Okay. I hope I don't have a birthday caption coming. Then I'm watching the news this morning, and some nigga in the Bronx got into an altercation, a little argument with a bodega owner, which is very common in the Bronx. Very common. So they beefed it up a little bit, and homie just bounced, which is always bad. Right. <laughs> yeah, once a nigga just leave, you got to kind of follow him. Where you yeah. going? Oh, my God. When he just abruptly leave the conversation? Yeah, nah, nah, that's nah, never fan. good. Yo, it's when a nigga good. just leaves mid-altercation, yeah. it's horrible. Y'all remember, I remember, and, and this is a tangent, off the tangent, but I remember how old I was when I learned that. Like, And that was in Hoboken Park, I think. Jersey City <laughs> niggas was fighting with the Hoboken Project niggas. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that the Underrated niggas... Underrated little section over there. 
In Where? Hoboken. Oh, sh- <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> they be thinking Hoboken is very nice. Hey, check this it's out. A different over there. Hey, hey, underrated o- there. Over there on Washington, it is nice. Go bust a hard left. <laughs> yep. Bust a left and just yep. go straight for a little bit. Yeah, they used yep. to give us hard times back in the day. But, yeah, that's when I learned that. Because it was like, oh, shit, we won the fight. Them niggas leaving. It's like, oh, shit, no, we got to go. <laughs> yeah, no, y'all should we be leaving, go. too. We have to go. Yeah, y'all should be Ran you out too. your own hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah, no, we was out of there. Um, I don't even remember what we were just talking about. Maul's birthday. Oh, yeah, Maul's birthday. Wait, how do we get from Maul's birthday to... To Hoboken. To Hoboken. Oh, no, Hoboken no, we're talking about the Bronx, the, Bronx. the Bronx shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. so Homeboy <laughs> left the altercation and came back a couple hours later. Poured gasoline or something flammable all over the inside and the outside, threw a match down and then just boogied. Oh man, that was crazy. Anybody died? No, no, no. Store owner was cool. Okay, you got that insurance, fam. You got to do a little more than that to kill a Bronx bodega owner. <laughs> yeah, you can't light bad. a fire nah. and leave. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga. You just wasted the, the cat. The cat is gonna put that out. <laughs> <laughs> the cat. The cat gonna kill all that shit. Nine one one man. Like the Bronx is different. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, all right, so happy birthday to Maul, man. Thank if you're you. listening, uh, tweet Maul a happy birthday. Thank I you. don't know how our podcast does so well, but my Instagram followers and my Twitter followers don't ever move. Like, yes, yeah, they support us. Send <laughs> <laughs> like, get five hundred thousand followers a week, and I'm just been on one point four for five years. Well, well, women tend to get more followers than men. Because no one wants to look at dudes. A lot of men. Yeah, I totally could understand people following sin over you. Yeah, Yeah, I get it. Oh, I thought I was killing them with the hip-hop commentary. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fam. Niggas done reached the max. <laughs> like, more, more. Niggas reached the max more, the hip-hop. There's enough commentary? Yeah, the hip-hop max is no, the word. No it's more? Like, no, nah, yeah. Niggas is cool. I know it's too much commentary because now every new rapper that commentate on some shit, Elliot hit me like, oh, fuck, another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Elliot is sick of you niggas. Me too, man. Y'all get out of here. It's crazy. Elliot better be. Elliot's been doing this shit for 25 years. Nah, but then Elliot yeah, repost all of them niggas, so it's like, That's man. True. Because Elliot is an OG. So he know you ain't gonna get far it's, hating. <laughs> yeah, that's no hate, but it's like, Elliot, you gotta act like you ain't don't see some of that shit, though, Elliot. I like that. Elliot, Elliot see everything. That. And I think it's a great idea. Though all of the spots that kind of do well, and we twelve minutes into talking about nothing, but um, all of the spots that do kind of well, like on the internet, like I was trying to figure out why the shade room does so well. They just centralize. It's mm-hmm. a, a place for people to centralize. You don't have right. to follow. Elliot posts everything, account. and then you could centralize there or see it all there. It's like sections of the newspaper. Yeah, one hundred entertainment, sports, blogging, you know, it's all the same shit. So let's get let's get into it, man. Uh damn we need some theme music for the nasty awards. Uh and we have a few nasty awards to give out. Some are a little lightweight nasty. Some are a little bit more than that. Some are like Damn, yo, fam. <laughs> what's up with you? <laughs> when it's too nasty, it becomes a what's up with you. Like, yeah. what's going on? Um See, look, I, I hate, I, I could tell five minutes in before when these niggas about to leave me on an island here. Don't y'all no, do it. No, no, I'm not. We were, I'm right all here, right, man. all right. So it's cool. So uh, let's start with a few minor nasty awards. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, we have to clear up the August Alcina thing. And the Jada, because we kind of killed August last week for the Jada caption. But uh, in doing some research, like there's a, there's a history and a relationship there that, you know, so we gotta we gotta go back and clean it up before we I mean, get into the nasty award because we was we was giving we was great to give August the nasty award for sure. Nah, I wasn't gonna give him a nasty award That's not nasty. for that. So I was gonna give him props. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't gonna get well, this. Give you a nasty award for that <laughs> for giving him props. I, I invented the nasty award, so I mean, you what you no, want? but we um and 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 doing research, I I, I checked out an episode of a uh, Jada Pinkett's Red Table show and. The, the Smith family has been helping August with his uh, drug addiction. Oh. So <laughs> we're assholes. Yeah. yeah so it was kind of like I get where all of that. You know, the caption, the deep cap. It was still a little yeah, the caption, but I understand where the you know the emotions and the sentiments were at in that. Like, nah, I stand by everything we said. <laughs> no, we we'll still stand by. Uh, the, it, but the, the fortune in my cookie is a little wild, and if I'm a husband, I'm gonna, to my rookie, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna have that conversation. That's yeah. what I was saying. I, I I knew all that. Back then, I knew that they had, you know. No, nah, Will they were definitely close. had to see August in the kitchen and just kind of just look at him like, "You alright? Well, Come on, you gotta snuff him over the eggs." Yeah, yeah, for sure. We didn't even have Chinese food last night. Fuck you, talk about fortune. <laughs> right. <with> my wife. <laughs> right. But wait, all right. So you sort of you saw the show. Mm-hmm. Is he's close like that with their family? With Jada. N- wait, with Jada or both? Jada, uh, Jaden. 
The relationship started. You with ain't me. said a will yet. <laughs> no, I mean well, I'm not. I'm not, not even sure. A will-o. I'm not sure. It's word. I'm not sure exactly. I mean, he posted a a a, a, a photo today with Will thanking him and uh, saying happy birthday to him and thanking Will for everything he's done for him. So I'm, I'm assuming that Will has had something to do with it too. I got my own theory, and What's I like theory? mine a lot better than yours. Okay, yours is like mature, <clears throat> logical, like. Mm-hmm. Yo, we made a mistake last week, y'all. This week we coming back to correct it. No, we gonna keep the jokes, but I did, we had to put that out there. In in my theory, in my story, and I'm sticking with my story. Will didn't like that shit. <laughs> he didn't like it one bit. Is that the reason why Garcelle posted what she posted mm-hmm. today? And Vivica A. Fox. And now you now y'all y'all feel where the God is going here. Mm-hmm. Let me tell y'all Using something. Using them as pawns. A few weeks ago, I told y'all that. Sometimes to find out when a gentleman uh, has great relationships with women, unfortunately, you have to wait until they're untimely passing to see all the women. Come Birthdays out. Oh and my passing. God. Birthdays, passing, and if oh. they're in the house. Nah, some girls be a little nervous to do the birthday post. Well, 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 check it out. I'm with Maul. Birthday is another one. Birthday hospitals. I and, think and Will. Death. I don't. I think. Will did side out that nigga in the kitchen while he was making eggs one morning. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You think and, Will Smith makes his own eggs? And I, well, I think one morning he did. <laughs> <laughs> Never cracked yeah, an egg in twenty years. You, you he, ever, got, he got up early before everybody. <laughs> you ever went to bed with something on your mind? Yeah, you, didn't you wake, Didn't you wake up early? Yeah, made some eggs. and alone. Yeah, <laughs> didn't you want to do things by yourself that yeah, day? For sure, yeah. <laughs> for sure. I think Will woke up earlier than usual that day. Mm-hmm. I think he hit the text. Mm-hmm. Remembered he had a birthday coming up. Maybe it was going to be his turn to while out, give it to him a little bit. Right. What other explanation can I think of for Will? I told y'all Will can't just come back hopping out of helicopters over the Grand Canyon. And sure enough, what's the first thing he do? Mm-hmm. Jump out of a helicopter on the Grand Canyon. No, nigga. <laughs> get your ass on Insta Live. Right. Right. <laughs> you got shit to answer for. See, because I got questions for, I want to interview Will Smith. I have questions for Will Smith that Elliot wasn't going to ask. I think yeah. <laughs> that, that a lot of people would ask. It? Yeah, because Will is like mad mature. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And there's if way more higher things. Face face I'm not sure if you're priority. Priority. No, there's a way to do it maturely though. And no, no, but even if, even Will is from he from Philly. That's the Fresh Prince. Yeah, but man. He left, he's been. It's out of still hip hop there though, but it's still that. that yeah, that, that Will is a hip hop dude. Yeah, sure. Will's yeah. a hip hop dude still. And I think you can find a way to ask it. Just like, yeah. Will, have you ever been, you know, when you were at your most sensual? I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, you, got weird, <laughs> you got weird <laughs> questions for right, Will. I'm freestyling, man. We will do that to rap radar. Yeah. All right, so all right, let's let's get right to the shit. Do y'all think that there's something between uh Shorty? What's her name? Uh, Garcel. Some, yeah, Garcel Beauvoir. Is that, I don't know how to say her last name. <laughs> and somebody know. else came well, out. They had the open relationship though for a while. No, wasn't that, That's that like what a thing? We're not mm-hmm. allowed to talk about. I thought yeah. that was like in the news. I don't know the Smiths. They didn't tell me that. <laughs> well, we that was that. Rory McFarrell. <laughs> McFarrell. O R. O R. But we do got to remember that that picture that she posted was from the Wild Wild West movie. It wasn't like that was a picture of them actually out on a date. So, oh, fam, I, what their relationships are their relationship. Mm-hmm. That's great. I'm saying if a nigga said told my wife that you the fortune to my cookie and all of that other shit, <laughs> yeah, that's, different. that's it. So now we wasn't supposed to start there because I wanted to make these jokes later, but y'all don't ever know that. Mm-hmm. What were we starting with? Nasty Awards. We're going with the Nasty Award. Speaking of Philly, or no, you want to start light with light Nasty Awards. Yeah, I was, I was thinking light Nasty. Let's not jump right into Jell-O Man. Uh, <laughs> Who who looked like Jello Man in his mugshot? Did y'all see the mugshot? I did yeah, I'm see it right yeah, now. Yeah, it looked like he ate some bad Jello. <laughs> <laughs> like the Jello was spoiled. That pudding yeah. pop was nasty. Yeah, I, no no nice sweater on in that one. <laughs> what is three to ten years? I've never even heard that as numbers before. <laughs> Word three to ten. I think that he'll probably. I don't know if he'll he'll probably do maybe a year in jail, and then the rest will be like probation or something like that. Which is kind of wild. Yeah. For all that he was charged with. Yeah. Well, he wasn't charged with so much, right? Because this is only from one one case. Hey, Vaughn, look this stuff up so we can actually sound like we have facts. <laughs> oh, so he'll probably have to go back to other trials while he's in there. Oh, is that still happening? He's got more. He's facing more trials. I would imagine. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm giving you niggas. But why is, I want to know why is he the only one convicted so far when all these other dudes have had allegations and charges against him. Well, no charges, really. He was the only one that's really been charged with something. Didn't Weinstein get charged with something? 
I think he did. Yes, <clears throat> he did. He got charged. Um, a few of them. Bill O'Reilly charged. get charged. Yeah. Bill O'Reilly got ch- charged, didn't he? He's in these. Nah, nasty. he just got um yeah. fired. I think. Yeah. And he got a lot of money. Matt Lo- Matt Lohr, Matt Lauer, Matt Lauer. No, nah, it was just nasty. Yeah, this for one. They got okay. they got they got Jello Man for one of them. Donald Trump. Well, you know the president ain't gonna. They're not gonna let that fly. They should. I mean, but see, this is why I wanted to start with a light nasty war because now <laughs> y'all taking one nasty and giving me all this. No, other we're just nasty. trying to talk about it's a, a lot the, of the dudes that's in the nasty free agency pool right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of ten day contract. Yeah, it's a lot of free agents. The free agent <laughs> nasty dudes just sitting there just waiting for the team to call up. <laughs> Yo, free agent nasty. Why, why, why Bill Cosby got drafted first, first, yeah. first pick? Why was he the Triple first A ball pick? right now? Yeah, why was All Bill the was first pick of the nasty, of the nasty, uh, ba- the, the nasty bastards association? He kind of, I'm not going to say he started the nasty wave and the Me Too shit, but he was definitely the, the front runner. He might have been the first. Yeah. Who, oh, Bill? Yeah, in this wave, yeah. He but was you, definitely the number one pick. See, but the like, thing he is, was Braun coming out high school. Like of course Wade was in the draft too, but you know, yeah, but it wasn't I, LeBron. It's just all like, of this is nasty, and can <laughs> no, we get is, off it, of it? it <laughs> like I don't want to hear basketball. I'm just jokes trying to figure out why Bill, was, why Bill was the number one pick. But it's all right. We'll figure to, it out. He was about to buy NBC. Oh, don't forget okay, that. Parks, Wait, forget play. Okay, Parks. Don't forget that. Yeah, enough. <laughs> Charlie Wilson told us his name on Mad Records, his first name and his last name. <laughs> he had a whole album. He had like five albums. <laughs> All right, are you, we done with uh, nasty, nasty McNasty, right? Yeah. All right. Is there a happier? Is there something happier to talk about? I was just trying to give nasty, nasty awards to all you guys out there who's just popping up with cartoons. Like, <laughs> yes. it's a whole lot of cartoons out there it's crazy man and there's nothing wrong with having cartoons we have one mm-hmm. <laughs> and we didn't start the cartoons we certainly did not start no, anything in life we didn't but we kind of made it popular I'm, and I'm not even gonna say that I won't I won't say it as far as the podcasting yes absolutely I'll say it I'm seeing a lot of <laughs> are cartoons are more famous just... than fucking the Thundercats no but on the podcast <laughs> world, yes. Yeah, we're no Hanna Barbera, but yeah, we definitely, we definitely push that. Yeah, a lot of cartoons out there. Yeah. That, that's all I'm gonna say. Not taking credit for a thing. And there's a few of you other guys who shall remain nameless, only because we're on Spotify now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so phony. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, any dude that laughed like that, man, <laughs> listen, man, Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi was laughing. That, Ma, why do you keep rushing all the topics? No, I'm just laughing. Like, that's a topic. No, but I'm just, <laughs> but you just played it, so I'm just thinking yeah. about it like, yo, that was the craziest shit ever, man. Like, I thought that was a sound, I thought that was fake. I thought they added that audio in there. No bullshit. I've been laughing. But back at, to what you were saying. I, I not, not too late, we're here now, nigga. No, <laughs> no we got to get back to the I was trying to get back to nasty. all the, the nasty awards. No, no, we got to get off that. We might get in trouble. Wait, no, else, no, no, no. The lighter, the lighter ones. Yeah, we on the lighter nasty. Yeah, yeah no, awards. no, these jokes. Okay. They're not real nasty. Um, lighter nasties. I so see a few of y'all out there who, sh- who sh- shall remain nameless. Some of y'all are trying to dig back in the crates and dig up your old podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but you did, and I'm cool with that. I'm, I've listen. The more the merrier for me. However, I don't like when you try to shit on all the current shit that's going on. I see niggas. Yo, it's a lot of content out there. It's dry, y'all. Who want my old shit back? Fam. <laughs> yeah. Fam. Let's simmer it down here, all right, buddy? Yeah. Let's just call a spade a spade. You see the podcast business booming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's time. Yeah, it's time to dig it back. <laughs> hey, hey, no, I'm not mad. No, I ain't mad to y'all. Get that shit, nigga. Right. But don't try to fool us. You just look before the market. <laughs> yeah, we, we get it. Hey, I would do the same shit. <laughs> I enjoy that podcast. <laughs> I would do the same thing. I would. Uh, all right, that's all from those are the lightweight nasty awards. Just know I'm watching all y'all. 
While I'm at it, I never heard nothing else about Charlemagne's HBO show. I'm gonna just go ahead and put that out in the <coughs> universe. And I'm. Um, mm. All right. What's up, man? You all right? <laughs> <laughs> what happened, man? You told me to hit the button. <laughs> I didn't tell you to do anything. And Rory was pointing at it like this. I didn't tell you anything. So I hit it. Uh, and I'm only saying that because I'm interested in it. Like, I'm following it. I'm waiting for it. Charlemagne with the HBO show, Desus and Meryl with the, uh, with the Showtime, Showtime shit. Yeah. Those well, are, a, they said that wasn't coming out till. 2019. Yeah, that, yeah, that was going to take some time. That is why, that's what made me think of, hey, what's going on with Charlamagne and HBO shit? Because both were slated for later, but we got an announcement for one. Okay. And Charlemagne, who's on air every day, has told us absolutely nothing about nothing. He's just put a book out. I mean, in fairness, you didn't talk about State of the Culture really until, you know what I mean? Yeah, it could still be in the works. Still in the works. They're working on it. No, I know. I want them to tell They're us about probably, it. They're um, probably, you know, the test thing that y'all do. Well, whatever. The test thing that y'all do. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Parks. <laughs> um, all right, so no nasty, no, no nasty awards. That's that's it. We got more in the cabinet if we need to give them out. Um, oh, and before we go any further, 25 minutes in before we go any further, I uh, see a lot of y'all cursing us out about being wrong about facts on this podcast. Listen, you new fucks. <laughs> we were never you, right. Yeah, we, we've, we've never been the factual news people. I don't want to be right. <laughs> I don't want to be right. I'm not looking for confirmation. I'm looking to spark conversation. And oftentimes, the wrong information is better to do that. It yeah, provokes thought. Yeah. If you want the fucking facts, turn CNN on, God damn it. And you still ain't going to get the facts. I was going to say, yeah. Like, they, yeah. they massage the yeah. truth. Yeah, basically. Use your brains for a change. Right. <laughs> um, okay. Now that we've cursed people out, what's really important in the world? Somebody tell me. Uh, two short comedians are. No, no, back no. I'm not it. getting back into some more last week shit. All the niggas from last week, they're trying to sneak in the news week again. No. <laughs> <laughs> they try well, to no, sneak Kat, in no, the Kevin Hart week. replied. That's why I brought it up. Because before it was just Cat going off per usual, and then Kevin Hart went on the Breakfast Club and said, Dog, you had the same shot as me, but you chose drugs instead and never wanted to work. So why are you hating on me and Tiffany? And then Cat got back on today and said, I'm going to rent out an arena in Philly. You can put a basketball court, a gym, a mic. I'll beat you in anything you can think of. <laughs> Rapping, basketball, boxing, comedy, you name it. I'll beat you in it, Kevin Hart, for a million dollars. I'm not really interested in the Kevin Hart, uh, Cat Williams beef. They've been beefing for a million years. Mm -hmm. They hate each other the same way Mike Epps hates Kevin Hart. It's a few niggas that hate Kevin Hart. I understand mm -hmm. it. That's, that's okay. But I'm not gonna. Well, Kevin and, and Kat is more of the you know. That's been going on for the some battle time. of the Napoleon comedians. <laughs> it's not a battle of anything between them. It is in their minds, and, and it really is. It's not. It, well, I said this on the podcast a really long time ago. It'd be great to see comedians battle, like outside of that roast battle shit they had. But like major comedians battle each other, the way people do in rap. Yeah, I'd like to see it. I would. That's it. why I'm Roy's right to because why are you come how are comedians beefing? That yeah, you have to find y'all are comedians. Beef. Go have a fu a funny off. Yeah, yeah that's true. Go do a like, tour. We'll, Go we'll, do a quick we'll tour pay together. to see it. Go do a yeah. tour together and see who gets the better response. Have Martin Lawrence come out. Dave Chappelle host the shit. Boxing ring. Y'all come out. Come out. We have a laugh off. Yeah. Roast each Kevin other or, or Kevin just be funnier. Be no, Kevin, of course not. Kevin, Kevin Hart made never. way too much money to get in a fucking laugh yeah, off his, with Cat his Williams. Brand, I hate yeah, that but word, that's, but but too that's what Cat would say he was going to hide behind. Like, why, why are you hiding behind the money and the fame? Because you're supposed to. I guess. I get it now. I understand. <laughs> I understand it now. Them Protect niggas, are, they would lose money. Yeah, yeah but that's what... They, that's, they that's, would be losing money to stop what they are doing. Yeah, but I mean, if you want to, if you want to, you know, it's, it's, it's part of the. And he culture. called out, he called out Cat Williams for all them alternative facts that I, that that I, that I was just spewing all around. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he said all that shit's bullshit. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I didn't fact check any of that. Yeah, me. Either. Oh, what Cat was saying about his career? Yeah, yeah. his numbers. He said he put 2.4. Said, said he put a whole lot of sauce on it. Yeah. I don't know about all that. Yeah, it's I don't think Kevin Hart needs to put sauce on his numbers. No, Cat well, Williams. I think, yeah. well, I think oh, okay, Kevin. Okay, okay. I think Kevin did at one point too. Though they caught Kevin talking that box office uh, com comedian shit, and then they was like, "No, Eddie Murphy still has the right." Yeah, but it don't matter if you actually get out there and you body and shit. No, you could lie. <laughs> well, Cat was body and shit too. His specials were doing really well. His tours was doing really well. Cat at one point was 
you could say popularity wise for new comics was number one. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't like I don't like you were the man, you had the shot and you chose drugs. I don't I don't like that for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's a choice for mm-hmm. some people. Mm-hmm. I think that's a sickness for some people. And just because that's not Kevin Hart's uh <laughs> vice. <clears throat> yeah. My don't thing, mean you should just now be able to call sick people out on their vices, even those who have animosity towards you and are being malicious toward people you love. I'm still not rocking yeah, like plus that. Plus, maybe Cat didn't want to be in Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Cat from Rip, even when Cat was like number one, he was definitely not the I'll play the game comedian. Cat would have been in Jumanji. <laughs> you think so? would have been in the fucking. Jumanji was in the What was the, the guy museum. with the rifle? Yeah. Jumanji was the museum great. coming to life. Yeah. No, I wanted to go to. A, I wanted to Jumanji. be in Jumanji. Cat would have rode a, along Jumanji with Ice Cube. Was, uh, Jumanji was the book. Was the, oh, yeah. No, the, was board, the board game. game. The board game? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, the fuck out of here. Night at the Museum with Ben Stiller is the. That's the one I wanted to be in. Robin Williams. Why'd you want to be in that? That was that. They got locked in the museum for no, a night. I, I know, I know that. And then shit the started synopsis. coming to life, and they were running around. It didn't look like fun. Yeah, I guess until you get in the wrong room in the wrong painting. Yeah. What year did that movie come out? Uh, five years ago, maybe. Oh yeah, I was it's, definitely. No, it was a couple Jumanji. I was though. definitely Jumanji. No, no, I'm talking Jumanji. about Night in the Museum. Night in the Museum. I think it's two. It might be two, or, two or three. Though. Fam, we, the real nigga versions only. Why are you talking? Who knows? There's three. <laughs> who knows? There's three nights in the museum. Yeah, yeah, like, that, that, was, that was oh six. That was early two thousands. You remind me of me. I'm the only one that knows there was five Maze Runners. <laughs> yeah, you, you watched all one. They, nah, nah, don't do that. Maze Runner was alright. Maze don't Runner was yeah. alright. That was alright. One and two. Maze Runner was better than Running Man. Y'all ever watch Running Man now? That, the Arnold Schwarzenegger again. Nah. That shit trash. <laughs> watch that shit now. In the '80s, we was like, "Oh, this shit dope." The nigga, the electrical nigga that came out. We watched that shit. Nah, now. he was Let ill. Me get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. He was ill. The electrical. That shit trash. <laughs> Damn. Robo-Cop you know what movie trash. I wanted? To, I wanted to go back nah, and see Robo-Cop RoboCop Two. Uh-huh. I wanted to go see RoboCop 2 today. Trash. Nah, classic, man. Trash. Classic. I want to see Which the Which one was the one with the political shit where they got all political? That was it. The, two, I think. It might have been three. Three was, three was disgusting. <laughs> I told y'all what it, uh, one day I was just flicking the channels and Meteor Man was on. Tra- another- <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that, that was movie bad. was bad. That movie was bad. Trash. Meteor but RoboCop man, was like man. one of those it's so bad it's kind of good movies. It's it's so bad that it's funny. Right. So it's a comedy. Movie. A, few, yeah, a, a comedy. few of his yeah. movies are that though. Yeah. I mean, I know he's box office seller and all that shit, but a lot of his movies and his Wait, acting. Who? We talk about Arnold. Oh yeah, yeah. He wasn't. No, but Arnold wasn't RoboCop. No. Oh no, who was RoboCop? Some Fam, movie. nobody gives a fuck about RoboCop this long. <laughs> like <laughs> we all get into side talks and stay there. Yeah, yeah. I love the side talks, but anyway. I know, but let's talk about. I don't even know what's important. We're all for Kanye. I'm gonna just go down this whole list. Kanye's nasty too. <laughs> How is well, Kanye mad at somebody calling his wife uh, or talking about his wife negatively and then he has a song called You're Such a Fucking Hoe? I love it. I don't... I saw a couple he people make that point. He talked about I don't Rev think Run's that yeah. correlates yeah. at all. Yeah, no. I think he should be able to make yeah, that song. You're, you're a married man and this is a yeah, song a you song. created. Oh, knock it off. Knock it off. I'm just... This, you're a married man. This is the song. concert you're creating. Right. That's, that's a real Tiana Taylor point. I'm just saying. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. You can't be mad at the rappers you loving hoes. You just hung up you, with TT. Can you be mad at rappers loving hoes too? How you mad at rappers loving hoes? Other rappers loving hoes? Or calling a hoe Well, that's his wife now. Yeah, mom. Okay. Call the hoes hoes. Don't call my wife It's just a bad point. What if your wife is a hoe though? That wouldn't be my I wife mean, personally, but <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Ho is subjective. Wait, 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 Ho wait, is very wait, 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 wait. Some hoes ain't subjective. Somehow, somehow we've now bumped into a conversation of substance worth having. It's a bunch of niggas married to hoes. That's true. What that means? That is, make it your hoes, job to come. A lot of hoes. That true. make it your job to come and say, no, yo, but if your wife a hoe, like what no, are you talking yeah, about? But if I decide to, if to I call if her a hoe, if we're having a conversation and. The, the the whole name start being thrown out and I and I the name I thought just happens to be married to a rapper now. That rapper can't get mad at me if your wife is indeed a hoe. He can. And I'm not calling her a hoe, yes, I'm you just can. saying. You know, all these rappers beef over girls. The yeah, same but, girls. But you can't and, the same and, and six and girls. girls. And, and and that's a problem. Especially when now the husband comes out and like, yo, listen, dog, you know, it's like, what? Well, no, I just think like the line we were talking about last week, there's a line once it becomes your wife. You don't. You just kind of stop talking. Your homeness gets deleted. Home. Plus, also, you no. gotta stay in your wife's good graces. So even if she, even if he's right, you still gotta no, stick up for your wife. doesn't get deleted. But I'm with all of that. But then you can't now. compound all of that. But now having a record called "You're Such a Fucking Hoe," I love it. Because now you giving me. Now I'm confused. Like yo, what is this dude? Talk? 
So you love the whole Okay cool So, so I can't bop the, your, your, whole hook, your whole hook And then now you get mad When I start naming the hoes So now you want well, All chicks. the messaging And music to match The behaviors of the artists that I'm just saying from. If you're gonna jump out there And stand for something You can't then go in the booth And start spitting shit well, That no, don't match There's plenty of girls for. That I fucking loved That they was hoes I just didn't wife them Yeah but But I loved at the moment That they were hoes Fine But now so he might but not now, be Talking about Kim He's just talking about some chick that he was really happy that she decided to be a Who home. else? Who do you love more than your wife? Are y'all finished with this whole conversation? <laughs> like, I don't even understand what the debate is. I'm just Niggas saying. marry hoes. No, you can't go up to a nigga and say your wife is a hoe without getting the shit smacked out of you. And that's the end. <laughs> nah, Some dudes marry because girls be moving in different circles and then they rebrand and they go to a whole nother city. And now you marry to a hoe and you have no yeah. idea. Yeah, I'm seeing a whole bunch of new hoes pop up in Atlanta like it's 04 again. <laughs> no, 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 you can't no, just go no. To a whole new city. No, no. I called IG all my around. Atlanta niggas. Yeah, they know. Call- <laughs> <laughs> they know you down there. Yeah, yeah, you're not it's low. It's different now. Yeah, you're not low. Um, no, they but do th- only take like one phone call too. Yeah. <laughs> Who are they fooling? I'm shocked at the chicks that can relocate just at the drop of a dime. <laughs> Why is the whole part of the whole rebrand like they start doing eyebrows all of a sudden? Why is that like the first thing I fresh out the whole So they look more surprised when you call them a hoe. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bathroom. <laughs> I just want to know why no, that's part of the free That was Rory. That was Rory. That was Rory. <laughs> that was Rory. How you spell it? R O R Y. Mech something. And that was Maul, but with an I somehow. Yeah. Okay, I am back. Now that they're done talking about useless Kim and Kanye shit. Here, let me talk about some useless Kanye shit. <laughs> now, a few months ago, I just like to... This podcast is only works because we like to come here and tell y'all when we was right about some shit. Yeah, a I few love months and, ago... And, and ignore completely when we was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> right? Acknowledge <laughs> our wrong? What the fuck? Yeah, no. You never acknowledge your yeah, wrong. No, you can't do that. You been wrong? Never. Me neither. Imagine that. Wrong my life. What that mean? A few months ago, Push's album came out, then Kanye and Cuddy's album came out, then Kanye and Nas came out, then Tiana Taylor came out, and then an announcement came out. And that was weird. But the announcement said, from Psy High to Prince, <laughs> he said... <laughs> I got to put my hat on for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got to put your hat on? Yeah. Because <laughs> some shit is too funny. That's your thinking cap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sahad, uh, and I, man, I fuck with Sahad too. We know we, we all fuck with Sahad. We, 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 we thought he was kind of wild and doing that yeah shit, but his album is great, I, and he's I, a great rapper. It makes great music. Sahad. So he's just being a, a little wild in this summer. That's all. Yeah, told me he was going to It makes great music. Sahad a little wild in this summer. That's all. Told it us. <laughs> Cause you gotta say told it When a nigga start told it in something mm-hmm. yeah, he, he said he that his album was next In the seven album rollout Said Ye is already on the private jet Mixing it down And he already had 217 songs To pick the seven from I love when rappers tell us They got the 300 songs Already in the tuck that, They did it last that month That actually <laughs> right. Terrifies me I don't think that's a good process Remember when rap, Remember when that was like the thing Back to Wayne. Wayne would record a hundred songs a day. Yo, Wayne he gotta, just happened to be fired. Wayne got to start taking some of the bad shit that he brought into the game. Same way I hear like rumblings of people with that are mad at Bad Boy and Rockefeller for certain shit. Mm. You got to be mad at Young Money too for certain shit. Wait, what are they mad at them for? At Bad Boy and Rockefeller? Yeah, blowing through million dollar budgets. Well, I, when you speak to some older people, when you well not older people, our age, right, or my age, you'll hear a few people say that. Bad Boy and Rockefeller were responsible for women now being 100% materialistic and all the, just a different lifestyle. It was a switch. Yeah. It was a change and a shift in focus because Biggie and Hove always rapped about just that. So, yeah. so all the broke boys are like, I think T.I. No, a shift in the women. That with oh. In the women, not men. Oh. They're saying that women changed. Because of how, what Biggie, Kim, whole fuck that era rapped about the, the glossy era. I guess. Yeah. Oh, the shiny suits. That's still a thing. I, know, I wasn't People mad at that because even suits? after that, it I was like still like suits. it wasn't as crazy as it is now. Now it's like I'm telling you, ever since when Ti said it ain't tricking, if you got it, 
<laughs> that changed everything. Bro, is T.I. Ain't getting credit for that line? <laughs> that's that was when, the whole that's song. when it went crazy. Nobody said that before T.I.? They might have, but when he said it... <laughs> they made it a hot line. He made it a hot song. And it's still tricking. It's still, it's I'm, it's still, it's still, I'm still on tricking. that, by the it's way. It's always yeah, be tricking. It's, it's, it's I don't still care tricking. if you got it or you don't. It's still tricking. It's tricking. It's but okay. once that happened... Women's whole narrative changed. Like it was like, yo, you ain't what? You ain't paying? Nah, I'm, you gotta pay for it. what? Like when Fox was rapping and Kim was still hot, it was like chicks was more on there. I got it type shit. I got it. I'm gonna go get it, or I'm gonna get with a nigga that's gonna get me, like put me in a position to get it. Now it's like chicks just want to be pretty, and you just gotta give them everything. Well, let's not generalize. Not all women, of course, no. But I'm just I'm saying joking. that's that's just what a lot of women feel like now. That's how they maneuver out here. And women out here getting to I'm not mad. They getting to it. But I'm it's not like sure I look that's at some, a new thing. I'm not sure you can play. I think that's been uh, yeah, happening I, I forever. I wouldn't blame Rockefeller in What's been happening forever? Pretty girls getting things because they're no, I, no, no, no. For sure, <laughs> pretty women have always had a decent life. When did that happen in your lifetime? Before Biggie and before Hove. In my, I don't know. I was fucking twelve when Biggie and Hope. I was gonna say you guys were young out, so. and not out around the scene of I didn't grown women the change. trying to find all right, rich well, men. That was, all right. I was too young to know so the change. Well, well, we can all get to every point in our life by the pop and rap group at the time. For sure. So Absolutely. before, so Biggie was ninety four. Mm-hmm. Hove was ninety six. Mm-hmm. Right. Before that is is Nas in ninety two and N.W.A. Tribe Called Quest and all of that shit there. It was the conscious rap. Yeah, women weren't that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then is what I'm saying, or at least like y'all are saying, maybe we didn't see it. But I had older brothers, uncles. Well, were they not at going after drug dealers and people no, that had money? For sure. Yeah, that's all okay. I was say, That's like, always been the attractive or thing athletes in, or in growing up. Like the woman wants the successful guy, the boss, the dude that every man feared. Like that, that's right. always been attractive for women. But this era now, like chicks just want the give me the money. Like I don't. Whatever you got going on in your life, you you paying? No, I didn't get out of here. Like that's what it is now. Yeah, then it yeah that was the era where oh, you can't pay the rent. Oh fuck out of here. Oh now no scrubs is coming out now. <laughs> right, that, right. that that was that. Yeah. So I do hear people uh, uh, credit that to. It's not a whole bunch of people, but yeah, they do. So you saying that's even more so today, and you saying Ti. That line, it ain't tricking if you got it. Change the culture. I don't think it was that prominent. Okay. I, I was around high school women, so I don't know. Can I ask y'all a question that has nothing to do with any of this? Please. I love when you do this. And I'll tell y'all where it stems from, because me and Maul was having a funny conversation that you better not mention, even if you remember it. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, now you have to mention it. No, you can't mention it. <laughs> uh, that's enough for me for mentioning it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, take the risk, Maul. Um, me and Maul were having a funny conversation. Uh... Just about lusty texts or DMs that men send, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it got me to thinking of a question that might sound a little stupid, but I'll I'll ask it anyway. Mm -hmm. How much of women's self-esteem is directly, should directly be credited to just niggas being horny? (laughs) That's interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. Honestly, think about it. Yeah, because if... At See, certain times, if I would have beat off before I sent some text messages, I wouldn't have been gassing her up that way. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, women women definitely got to give more credit just catching a man at a horny, vulnerable moment. <laughs> like, why women don't know that? Or my question, I guess, is why do some women put more stock in what a man says while they're lusty uh, instead of when they're not? I don't know. Am I confused? Women I know put it's a, little a lot confusing. of stock into what we say with mad evidence their whole life that they shouldn't have. Yeah, I and agree continue with that. to. I agree with that because they'll they'll they'll. I agree, Rory. They they credit us with a bunch of shit and then they wake up and say niggas ain't shit. Like, right. but you believe us? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I guess I only bring it up because I've said a bunch of bullshit to women. Oh, While man. I was lusty, we all have. and I feel yeah, like, yeah. but I, yeah, but I feel like they should have known. <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't. No, women have definitely been, like hit me like, "Yo, you was talking crazy the last time I saw you," and I'm like, "Really? 
Like I'll be forgetting. I'm like, what did I say? And they say shit. I'm like, I didn't say that. It's like, stop lying. <laughs> like, no, I didn't. That's I didn't say it. You yeah. got that. That wasn't you me. Gotta that. You yeah. gotta deny it. You gotta deny it. Like that wasn't. Me. I start talking with the proof in the text. That yeah. wasn't me. That was wrong. Wrong phone. Yeah, somebody. I was going through shit. something. I was. I was. I was going through something. Forgive me. <laughs> Until, until, until I'm horny again. Pardon self. Pardon and then self. I'm back at it. Yeah, I just pick up like we right back talking like we was before that conversation. <laughs> yeah, like, yo, so how's the kids? <laughs> yeah, like, how's your man? Yo, that's, <laughs> I, how's your man? Y'all, y'all good? Yo, yeah. That'd be the craziest shit when the last thing you said was really nuts and then you go back on just some regular hey but that text message is still right above it oh, I from last that week one. I unsend that one <laughs> I unsend <laughs> I, yeah no no yeah no cause yeah no I gotta unsend that unless you got a memory like a bird what's somebody with a good memory elephant elephant, elephant yeah she bird, ain't, I don't know, I don't know if that's I don't, true I don't, I'm stupid uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah she ain't gonna remember the six months ago wild lusty yeah, she no, I'm, no I'm talking about like the last week shit <laughs> Oh, I'm in a committed relationship, so I don't know anything about that. Well, this is, come on, it's hypothetical right now. Oh. From our past life. Yeah, but that's how my girl think I'll be getting all my creep shit off. In <laughs> <and> hypotheticals. <laughs> <laughs> in hypo, in hypotheticals. Hypo, yeah, yeah, yeah. And get all my shit off in yeah, hypotheticals. Yeah, yeah, she, That's when she's listening <laughs> the, the closest. <laughs> yeah. When it's hypothetically or when more or issues in the story. <laughs> <laughs> she is listening for every detail. What bar? <laughs> Who was the bartender? <laughs> Um, I, we ain't talked about shit for uh, five minutes, in, but that's fine. Point. You wanted to get off. Oh, so fucking Sai. Okay, Sai said we were getting seven songs from him. Then nobody said nothing. Boy, do I hate when the rappers say some shit and then they don't say nothing. I hate it. I hate it. Right. Give me more lies. <laughs> Word, you gotta live. Yeah, you got it. Yes, you have to compound the fucking <laughs> lies. So now, fast forward. Here we are this week. What do I see on my news feet? You fucking guessed it. Kanye by Sai High Bentley truck. Uh, yeah, he that was nasty. It. We gotta give that a nasty award. <laughs> nah, he. I'm with Parks, man. He deserved. He it. was on the front lines. Word. The soldiers dancing, gotta get the belly dancing truck. for Trump, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> Gentlemen. Go look at his. I'm sure you can refresh your timeline right now. We got some Magnus shit going off there. Parks, come on. Come on. You, <laughs> I can't let you wear, wear a backpack and make these jokes. He <laughs> bought Sai High a truck. A Bentley truck doesn't even look that nice to me anyway. Fam. No, it's a nice Sai High has mean? been writing for they Kanye for, for 25 years. Nice no one buys a Bentley for he weather. He can't parts. even get a beat. <laughs> it's a truck. <laughs> he can't get he a He can't beat. even get a new beat. <laughs> All the new beats is going to Tiana album that she didn't want. That she didn't, that she didn't fuck with. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, if you remember, he moved right on to the Chance Seven songs that also never happened, and now it's no, a joint that's album. Happening. That's no, no, going to no, happen. Joint. It's a joint album. No, that's, no, that's definitely happen. happening. He loved Chance. Yeah. And Chances. Well, Chances. Mm-hmm. He, he, he wants so many Chances. Yeah, he, he wants so many. He, he, he keeps loved, Chance next to him. Yeah, yeah. That album is coming out, and that's no, where all the is. ill Sci High beats are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On Chance's album? What? Yeah, that's crazy. Chance Wait, hold on. Chance had a dope album, man. Hold on. He did this to Sci High before. Remember, what was the popular? Popular one on uh, Pablo, beautiful morning, oh! and then Sai High like a month later played his version from his whip. Like, nah, I was on this shit before. <laughs> Sai High got to stop doing that. Sai High was his on verse was beautiful good morning. Of course, Sai High could fucking rap. Yeah, no, of course, it was, really it was good. good. It was a really good verse. Sai High got to relax. Damn, Sai. Don't tell us that. You What's up? Just show up in the Bentley truck. I don't like when people tell us about the song they was they was on that they wasn't on when we got it. Yeah. And I don't like people talking about well, now the song he has a that they wrote on from. for the artist. Wait, what? Like when people say, "Yeah, I wrote that record." I, I ghost, don't like I that. I ghost wrote that. The only time I like that is Pusha T telling us he wrote the McDonald's song. <laughs> yeah, that's that was, the that, only that time was, it's acceptable. That was kind of fire. That was that was like a stunt move though. Like, yeah, I wrote that McDonald's. <laughs> It was a stunt because he didn't even say it. I think Karen or somebody said it, and he still ain't never acknowledged it. Yeah, <laughs> whatever Don't worry about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah, something like yeah, that was like. What do you think? Chris was, was just like chilling that. in the studio and hit him with a uh, ba da ba ba ba. That's how it happened. <laughs> he bodied that ba 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 ba. He was probably talking about gun noises, and then they just hired the pitch. Word, he was t- <laughs> they auto tuned him. <laughs> Was it didn't didn't Justin Timberlake have uh No that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, didn't that was... Justin Timberlake have a um I think he did have something to do with that too. I don't even know. I'm loving it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yo, why were seventeen people on, Listen, on Bada Pa Pa Pa? That's no, Justin Timberlake has a song with that exact thing and it says I'm loving it. Oh okay. In a, in a real song. Well they were all hanging out there in Virginia. That is true. 
<laughs> just writing jingles the for whole, McDonald's. That was the whole, yeah, the the whole Pharrell connection. Yeah, the yeah, Pharrell. Sure. I don't even acknowledge Justin Timberlake ever since the, the Wranglers and the funny Nikes. Yeah, we gotta <laughs> get him. We gotta he get him out, out of Dodge. Yeah, well, he, you know, we need another tunnel vision or mirrors. Go find James I need, a, I, need a, I need a cry me a river. You gotta yeah. get in that bag. You on the clock, Justin? I'm, you on the clock? Yeah, that's a fact. He's, he's the clock. Fucking, <laughs> he's, he is the clock. Yeah, Fonzeroy terrified him all in fucking samurai swords, so he ran back to the woods. Fonzeroy <laughs> terrified us all. <laughs> that's a fact. Just being weird. <laughs> but he's one of like the real weird people. I don't think he's faking. So I could, I'm cool with that. It'd be the people that fake trying to be fake weird that bother me. Like mm. you're just right. You're not weird. <clears throat> what y'all think about Kanye wanting to turn off the likes? Huh? All of the likes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> all of the likes. All of the likes. <laughs> no, y'all, y'all agree with that? Y'all rolling? That was funny. I uh, think that's stupid. That was funny. <laughs> I think that's stupid though. Uh, what trying to get rid of our lights? Don't our turn off my fuck. Can we have that out? Don't turn off my lights. <laughs> all that's a fact. Lights. Yeah, don't turn off my lights. <laughs> Don't right, turn off all of my likes. <laughs> They're not gonna let that one rock. Oh no, nah, I give him five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I want all yeah, of my yeah, likes. Yeah. <laughs> They're not letting that go. No, I want all of my likes. Though. Um, Kanye is stealing Ice's ideas. Ice had that idea a million years That's ago. That's true. And he's right. Ice got to. F- you got to fight him. Okay, so well, yeah, Ice probably had mad followers then. It's always be the people that got it that's trying to change the shit. That's okay, so y'all saying <laughs> this should be the option or it just shouldn't come with that at should all? Should be the option. It should be the option. Okay, so, all right, so hit, okay. The same way you have the option of cutting off your comments, you should have the option of not showing people how many people are following you. Turn your numbers the off same on way, podcast. The same way, uh, it, <laughs> holy shit, yo, was, y'all are on one today. Um, <laughs> the same way it was like that on Snapchat for a little bit, where you couldn't see what anybody was doing, you just saw their shit. But I think, but here's why I'm confused. Because that shit would flip the world I, upside down. I, I well, thought, confused is a normal state for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought that Kanye <laughs> was saying, because some people are, you know, they like they, they 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 yearn for that, and the fact that they don't get a lot of likes, it could turn into them being depressed and you know all types of things. So if you're turning off your likes because you're depressed that you're not getting any likes, like what? I don't understand how that would help you. Mom's always befuddled because I don't get it. It's like just get off of social media. Because, yeah, because then you won't be cyber bullied when you have fifty four followers. Those be the cyber snowed. bullies. Though, those those the are part. the cyber bullies. Yeah, but, that's, but see, hey, but this is what I'm saying because this all ties in. Let me just tell you all that Remy says there's no such thing as a cyber bully and you niggas is pussy. That's what she says. <laughs> she's not wrong. I, she's not wrong. No, she's but wrong. I am whatever. pussy. Okay, so, so let me. I'm, let me I won't tell her. Let me, let, me, <laughs> let me go into that. It's, we in such a sensitive era, man. Like, I don't understand how. Just, just don't be on Instagram. Right. Don't have an Instagram account. Right. It doesn't really work. Yeah, but I have, it does work. It does work. It's but that simple. Or delete. Have one, but don't post nothing. No, no. What's the point of having? Delete well, the you fucking keep app. Up with, keep abreast. Delete the fucking app, man. Like if you're if you're emotional and you're sensitive because people are not liking your picture and people aren't. Fu- delete the fucking app. But do you know Fuck how many? Yeah. Hot there was a world before a Instagram. 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 Like uh, the world existed before these social media. But do you know how many hot girls are on Instagram almost naked? Delete the fucking <laughs> app, man. Like people are oh, turn the likes off. Turn, no, delete your app. You fuck you 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 don't like the fact that nobody's like delete it. Get off of it. I think that you should have the option to turn or it off. take better pictures. <laughs> get your picture yeah, game maybe up. Put some money behind a promoted post. Yeah, like get your picture I'll, game up. You need first of all get up get off that get off that bum ass old iPhone. Get a new camera. <laughs> yeah, Rory. You know what I'm saying? It's like Rory I, and Parks. I have the XS. Rory actually, and Parks with the with the six. I'm the last one. These niggas in the six. It's, what, what's yeah, yeah, next? Come on, Parks and Rory. Six. I have the XS. Oh, wait, wait, so, wait. So wait, shut up. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. Well, Opulence. Words. Hold up. Look at Roars. Mm, you know, regular. Regular, 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 regular ba- shit. Beige yeah. leather case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Palooza on the screensaver. Mm, that's a fact. Mm, okay. Mm, Howard Brandon. Homecoming tickets available right now. Mm, www.palooza.com. That was a Palooza. great time to go into a commercial, Rory. How does it feel? It's cool. Tell them about it, kind of missed my home button. Yeah, that was a little awkward at first too, but it's all right. Yeah. Camera's great. Yeah, I do sure. like that. Yeah, I just got the new one too. Still got the pink case though. It's red. <laughs> it's light, light red. Thanks. It's infrared. Uh, <laughs> shut up, Mo. <laughs> uh, all right, we haven't talked about anything because we've been talking about a bunch <laughs> yeah. of bullshit. Let's see. I'm not starting with new man crush there. Nope. Huh? <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, what? <laughs> new man crush. You got yeah, a new man crush? Got a new man crush. Oh, let's hear about it. I just said I wasn't starting there. No, but we're gonna hear yeah, about it. Hear, you, yeah. you can't. You can't say it's that. Like I don't, I'm yeah. not going to go into Cats that. Out of the it's bag. too late. Who's your new man? T- crush? Tell us about him. <laughs> where, where is he What's from? What's he do? What's he do? What's his sign? <laughs> He's all right. He's all right. He's pretty good. Okay. 
I don't know a sign. <laughs> What's his name? That's shocking. Patrick. That's really can't be. Patrick. Such a strong American name. It's Patrick Mahomes. Hmm. <laughs> That's why he has the red case. <laughs> This is not why I have the red, light red, it pink is case. Chiefs colors. Oh it is not. God, this is really? one color. <laughs> Yo, that is funny. Okay, so tell um, us, um, tell us, um, tell us more. He's good at football. That nigga's nice, man. Hey, you, I know you're not watching football. I'm not. Yeah. Me neither. But I see him. If, Patrick, if Patrick's playing, you're I'm, watching. I'm, come on, you know chicks got to go to their dudes' games. Yeah, oh my <laughs> God. yeah. They put play. you up on a box yet, or give you like the, the y'all, family seats? Y'all chicks, oh man, I can always spot y'all. Y'all went to one Eagles game and then never returned. Fair. Like that was a quick relationship. Chicks take thirty <laughs> pictures at one game and post them over four months. Yeah, yeah, y'all are trash. I'm like, they're um, not playing. They're not playing the Patriots again, are they? Like. <laughs> Knock it off, bro. Shorty. They played the Bears in 2016. <laughs> right. Knock it off. What you doing right now? He you don't, lied. You don't speak to him no more. Y'all don't date him no more. He don't even off. play for that team. Yeah, he don't even play for that team no more. He's knock retired. It off. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> he's retired. Yeah, he knock got it CTE. Off. Sure. Yeah, knock it off. Yes. All right, Parks. I ain't gonna lie. Some some of them chicks though that that is like in long standing relationships with like the good good players. So on Sundays, I'll be watching like the good, good play. I'll be like, yeah, nah, she caught that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, she caught that. That little one handed catch Travis Kelsey did. Mm. <laughs> Went right to Kayla's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kayla. Front of the show. I was like, yeah, man, go Kayla. She fucking did that. Good catch for her. <laughs> Where she was in the nice plush, all red uh, yeah, box yeah. with Drea. That's, I was like, oh, yeah, talk to yeah, her. Let's, let's, let's go, Queen. Let's go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I have no idea who y'all talking Me, about. That, that, hey, whatever. No, no, do your thing. This is great. Okay. Oh, wait, you know what else is really funny? Ah, god damn it. You can't fool me, buddy. Look what his look what his MCM does. Gives him right in a great mood. <laughs> got you he's, smiling. He's, yeah. What is this new smile you have? You don't even laugh that way. Yeah. Got you giggling and shit. All right. So, Drake concert in Miami this past weekend. He was out there? No, I was in Los Angeles speaking at the Ad Color Convention. Shout out to Spotify and all the good people that were there. Shout out to Paul Hunter. Anyway, um, no, I was not there, but boy, was I trying to get there. <laughs> it got canceled, I thought. Yeah, but we're getting there. Oh, okay. Before we, before I knew it Joe was had his flight booked. Before I knew it was canceled, boy, was I trying to get out there and not tell my girl. I was going to blame it on Puff somehow. Right? So then I have to go to L.A. and do work shit. So then I see Drake concert canceled both days, back to back, two shows. And then I said, that's odd. <laughs> that's awkward. Why would a good, good city? Miami? Do you think Drake can't sell out Miami? Drake oh, and no. Amigos, you think, I'm sold out. You I'm sure think they can't sales. sell out that's Miami back-to-back back nights? But yeah, pardon yeah. me, damn it, boy, y'all a Russia story. <laughs> the announcement was wasn't out yet. We had oh, okay. no reason why. So all we knew was they just canceled dates. Mm -hmm. So when you hear that announcement, why would you think that they would cancel dates? Uh, I would think it was something production. Yeah, like something like that. I normally think death, health, or... Something with slow the show. tickets. Hmm. So I didn't think slow, slow tickets. Slow tickets depending on yeah. I'm, there's never slow tickets with Drake and Migos, no. But they might or, be. Now they might be. Yeah. With Drake and Migos right now, no. No. Nah. No, not slow tickets. Y'all say things he factual that you just don't know. Slow tickets right now, no. That's not the issue. I wouldn't think slow, about that. Slow right I don't think so either. But these, not these in niggas Miami. these niggas can yeah. get slow tickets. Tickets sales, their slow is just a in different Miami? slow. You can see if it was Kansas City or somewhere like there it's millions of dollars on the line. So I mean if they feel like they'll get a better return on their investment than two go, months from now, I will go with health though. Then they will move it. All right, with, so with great. Let's fast health. forward. So then Drake announces health or legal issues. So then Drake and but right. but the same way I was trying to get to Miami, I'm looking on the gram and boy did I see a lot of people in Miami. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, damn, that's real fucked up to want to go to the Drake show. You know, you make a whole bunch of plans and then at the last second it's canceled. So then he puts out a release that says he was sick. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> what, man? <laughs> it's your story. This is a pause in the story. Okay. <laughs> Where we going, man? Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's have it. I hate it. y'all, niggas. Let's have it. No, I'm, no, no, no. I'm, we're I'm, not getting there yet. We're not okay. getting to the boom yet. Okay. We're not getting to the boom yet. We're just going to pause right here. Okay. Let's stay right here. Let it breathe. Okay. What's Jake sick? I don't know. I Fuck swore. what I know. You might have ate It's some. a possibility. Uh, it's a lot of yeah, yes. going on It's there. a possibility yeah. just like the, the man on the moon. Yeah. It's a possibility. Yeah, it's a possibility. <laughs> That's a, millions and millions a on the line. Huge comparison. <laughs> Anything's possible. You yeah. tell me about possibilities. Yeah, Listen, possible. millions and millions on the line. Back to back nights. A nigga that lives on the road. But that's when it's, why I hold up. When it's that much money on the line, Maul, them niggas would go get a little shot, <laughs> a little steroid shot, and be great. So that's why I was mm-hmm. skeptical. Uh, skeptical there. Mm-hmm. And then I figured out. Guess who was also in Miami? Who was in Miami? Brooke and Tanya. <laughs> Who's Brooke and Tanya? Two girls are not from Miami. Oh <laughs> so you think Drake? <laughs> <laughs> you think Drake canceled the show because to two young women were in Miami? Was two chicks was in no, there. No, all I'm saying is on that what freestyle? Uh, freestyle? What freestyle was it? What was the name of the freestyle? Fire in the booth. That was the London freestyle, right? Yeah. That was the trash one. That was not fire in the booth. But on that, on that, that, that was unfire in the booth. Fire. But on that freestyle, he's shouting out Brooke and Tanya. Now Brooke and Tanya's in Miami. Now there's two shows canceled. Did now you all in? of a sudden sick. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Back to your point of all no. that money on the line. You think he's doing that? Yeah, for, yeah, I don't t- even know who Brooke yes. and Tanya are. I, that I is think? exactly what I think I'm Aubrey is doing. I need to know who no, 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 Aubrey is the exact nigga. I'm roll with that, you on that. Yes. I need to see Brooke and Tanya, though. Word, me I too. need pictures of them. Yeah. yeah. And when right, you sure. both them in the same freestyle, yeah. and they, well, together, they come as a package. Let me try to find them. Yeah, No, but please do, though. I'm sure it'll be a struggle. Yeah, but we need. Because none of that is saved. Right. Uh, B R. How do you spell Brooke? Uh, B R O O K E. I right. imagine. All right, that's Brooke. Let's give it to Maul so he can do some investigating. All right. <laughs> Look at Maul. He's Look currently Maul. observing Look at Maul. Instagram. Wait. Oh, let me see Brooke. Let, let me see show, Brooke. show Brooke the park. Let me see Tanya, man. But, all right, but what do you think of Brooke? Okay. Is he canceling at one of the shows? Nah. nah. Ah, y'all niggas nah. got Drake fucked up, boy. Y'all that, got. Yeah. I didn't say Let you. Me see Tanya. I said Drake. Let hey, me see Tanya. 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 I said Drake. I, I know what you said. Uh, Let me see Tanya though. Listen, if sleepy ass Georgia get it done, <laughs> he ain't canceling no shows for no Georgia. Man. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Not not seriously mean, something wrong with you Sleepy ass Georgia <laughs> It's getting it done <laughs> She put a She put a little clip out on Instagram She looked great She I don't know what, great Dad, I, don't know what, I don't know what clip What she was doing But her eyes She looked She looked sleepy still But Was there a little <laughs> It was a little duet? sexy though it Was, was a there a little sleepy. duet response track That was leaked Was that real Or was that with some Mashup shit I don't. I have no idea which record yeah, you're talking about. Right now. They put out a leak of Drake singing and then Georgia replying. <laughs> yeah. Said it was a leak. Yeah, I'm gonna just tell y'all that the truth. Like a mashup. I'm gonna just tell y'all the truth. So the other day, the radio was on in the car, and Nice for What was on, and I don't really listen to that song or the radio like that. Mm. But ever since that old uh, Georgia Smith theory that we had here, there's a line in that Nice for What song where he said, uh, "High school picks, you was even." You was, was even bad then. <laughs> Joe. That was like two years ago. He said the line. <laughs> yeah, he did. He said it. That line ain't, that line ain't wild. <laughs> that line's a little wild. Yeah, only Drake can say certain lines, I'm telling you, man. High school picks, you was even bad then. But he said that in a woman's anthem song is why I'm laughing. I'm not trying to kill Drake. Right. He said that line in a woman's anthem song. Yeah, because you If know you know what would happen if I tried to do that... <laughs> you not Drake They'd be like Wait You Joe Budden like, You can't talk about Our high school picks <laughs> <laughs> Yo Kawhi laughing Like he was at a funeral And the, and the pastor said Something funny Like he wanted to cry But he laughing I'm, I'm so glad That Greg Popovich For so many years Protected us from Kawhi's laugh yeah. <laughs> Like now this I see Pop is cer- Certain niggas just Shouldn't laugh. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck was that bullshit? Don't, don't laugh. Whatever That's you why do, you always look so serious. That's shit. why Kawhi never. We never had heard interviews from. I don't even remember Kawhi's Finals MVP speech. No, I don't think he gave one. I don't even remember what he said. No. Did he say something? Tom, Duncan did that. No, they pop. Oh, oh, Patrick oh, Mahomes would have killed take, it. Yeah, I, just, I, wouldn't <laughs> go, I wouldn't go with Kawhi to a Dave Chappelle show. You don't think Patrick tennis. Mahomes would have killed his NBA Finals uh, uh, MVP I'm, speech? I'm sure he would have. <laughs> and he would have won. <laughs> 
<laughs> Joe has such a crush on this dude. There's a few <laughs> niggas that you just shouldn't search. When you search their names, <laughs> you ain't never searched a nigga's name. No, that I of don't course know. You, yeah, you had to. Have. No. Yes, you had. You had to have that I don't know. Yeah, for news yeah. purposes. Oh yeah, I mean you search everything, but I'm I don't search a dude who I don't like. If you tell me Patrick, give me a, you send that name out. I'm not going to search him in my phone. Like who is this guy? Like oh. All right, all right. Since Maul's making me sound zesty, <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of did. Don't before. do that, Rory. I like to be alive to see greatness. I want to shout out to Tiger Woods for winning whatever old people uh, tournament he won. I don't know. <laughs> he won the PGA <laughs> tournament. <laughs> <laughs> he won one of them shits. I ain't keeping up no more ever since the answer machine shit. But uh, I just like to see greatness. Yeah, I like to be alive to see it. So I'm homeboy doing all this wild touchdown stuff. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy about it. And and I search it. I search it. Sorry, Maul. Call, okay, call me no, Zesty if you no, want. No, I'm not. Listen, you said you had a new man crush. It's okay. All right. New music. New music came out. New music came out. Brand new seven. Brand new seven streeter. Have you guys heard it? I, did I not missed that one. That. I heard it. I did not. I heard it. What do you think? Where's the little thingamajig? Uh, Where's the thingamajiggy? The thingamajig is on the way. Awesome. <laughs> uh, it was an EP or album? It was a song. No, it's just a record. Well, record. It was a song um, that she released. Um, Nicki Minaj supported it on her Instagram as well, Girl Power. Did she get a Queen Award? Um, no, but I expected Nicki to do that because Seven was at uh, the, the Queen Radio release thing with all the girls and Kelly Rowland and shit. But anyway, um, what did you think of the song, Mo? It was cool. I like Seven. I just, uh, I'm just still on the fence about, she's a great writer. Is she still great with Atlantic? Voice. I wouldn't be shocked, but I don't know. Whoever did it, it's not good. Let me not say it's not good, because that's not true. I just say stuff like that for lack of better wording. Uh, but I don't like better words. Seven has an identity <laughs> problem. I was just going to say. That's why I asked if she's still with the She's Atlanta. one of the most amazing voices that we have today. And writer. And Okay, and writer. Mm -hmm. That nobody will ever know because she still keep trying to catch one. And it's Chasing just not who she is. This yeah. is not... The people that want to hear Seven, I'm one of them, don't want to hear this fucking Gat Band bullshit remake. Yeah. It sounds like... And Berg, like, wait, hold up for a minute. Yeah, Berg got to relax. I hope oh, that, and I was right about Berg and that... I hope that Drake wasn't Berg. French record. I heard that... I, I hope, I wasn't tripping. I I hope that well, wasn't no, we didn't think he was tripping. We just didn't know. <clears throat> yeah. He didn't text us he, that. He wrote that. in our group chat. Oh, he wrote it. <laughs> oh, okay. Seven gonna take this record and do all of that. Yeah. You can't even do that to this record. <laughs> I wanna find out That's, if Bird did a little that. weird yeah, placement yeah. there. Um but no, I completely agree with you. Her whole career has felt like she's been chasing a hit and it's not even been like a new sound hit. It's just whatever's popping right now. Yeah. Let me do that. She's not doing a good job at that at all. And I fuck with Seven, so I would like to hear like some good music from Seven. Super talented. Not, not that. Give um, me a, like a five record EP is some shit that we know you want to make. Speaking of five record EPs, brand new Young Thug EP. I liked it. Had El, had I don't El, know how. John I don't know how to Sample. not like a Young Thug project now. Yeah, me either. Like, like they're always good, but they're like it's rarely exceptional to me. Is the only thing that. But he does. You know how they say in the NBA, uh, like Jamal Crawford is a great bad shot maker. Right. I think Young Thug is that. To me, mm -hmm. okay, I fuck with Thug. Right, I don't know if I'm in Thug Hive yet, mm -hmm. but I fuck <laughs> with him. But Thug's bad. His bad songs sound good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't I know, know when <clears throat> I'm supposed to not like a Young Thug song. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I like this new EP. And he kind of yeah, be cool. rapping on the low. <laughs> no, he definitely like Thug does, raps. Rap, yeah, don't get the melodic shit fucked up on this EP. Thug was rapping. Mm -hmm. It was hard to catch a lot of it, but when you did, it, it was rapping. Okay. I wish I was current enough in music to understand why these artists prefer to put out EP after EP after EP as opposed to an album. That's yeah, quicker and easier. See, it's quicker and yeah. easier. Cheaper the streaming thing. Cheaper. Well, well, like, convince convince me of that. How is how is it's easier for an artist to go? If I do two EPs versus me doing one album, walk me through that. How is one easier? Well, because if the first one comes out, say you have like a direction for your album <clears> and you put out the EP and it's not the direction that people want to hear from oh, you, no. you can okay, switch wait. directions. Time out. What I'm saying is, as opposed to putting out an album, I'm not saying before your album. 
You never get an album. No, this is what I'm out. telling you. Oh, okay, so say it again. Yeah, I'm saying, like, say you put out the EP, and people don't really gravitate towards it. Maybe you got to reconvene for the next thing and go a different direction. You know what I think, too, Joe? I think music is created so quickly now that they get over it by the time it would be album time. I think he was feeling those five tracks in this past month and said, let's put this out. I think when you sit for three months and you make as much music as these kids do on their computer, they're over shit. Like, and, and Trekker, a record that would go on an album from three, four months ago, he's over it. I've made 45 songs since then. It sounds dated to me. Real quick, because uh, I want to stay on this topic, but I tweeted over the weekend because I was thinking about it. Do y'all remember when, when Khaled wanted to be the president of Def Jam and they was laughing at him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they, they were talking about bringing you over there. Yeah, Cal, Cal, yeah, 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 Cal yeah. wanted to sign me. Yeah. Cal wanted to bring me back to Def Jam. I thought that would have been a great idea. Um, but I'm just watching Cal get everybody at Epic rocking. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's a good. He's a good executive. Yeah. Like before, he like really popped with the Snapchat shit and all that. Like he would be at that Def Jam office every day working as an exec. He just happened like, to be popular to the. He eye. wanted. He wanted to do. He wanted to do the job. Right. Like, and I guess that maybe hurt him too. He has a good ear and all that. People like he has get, a great ear. Pe- great, pe- great people ear. have Khaled's uh, persona mixed up with his actual talent and work ethic and all that. Yeah, shit, different things. Yeah, he he is. Talented and the funny shit is, he'd asshole. be that way in the office. His persona, that's really who he is for sure. But he be, he puts work behind it as well. Right. Like he really gets artists moving. He could do it better than the execs too because they live like a real nine to five structured life. Khaled will be in the office all day, then go to the studio and actually bring the artist and the producer and put it together right there on the spot. Right. Like, he has that talent where other could executives don't. you imagine Khaled is has, calling you? He's going to annoy the shit out of you until you pick up the phone yeah, and go to the and, verse. And, and he has relationships like with everybody. Yeah. Like, a good relationships with, with, with just about everybody. But I don't ever want to hear another Future and Jay-Z and a Beyonce record. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you didn't take the top off the Maybach? Mm-mm. Okay. Do you have a Maybach? Mm-mm. Do you have a car? Mm-mm. <laughs> a convertible at all? I would be mad if I was somebody at Def Jam. <laughs> Why? I'm off of that, but because I, I just would be tight. Because that fucks up artists' careers. But not not bringing little, that exec on. Not yes. Yeah. Those, those <laughs> tiny little moves just fuck up a whole artist. Co- what no? Because I've seen on Def Jam, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I can see sure kind of why Def Jam might have been hesitant because they had been through a bunch of artists as executives. Around that time, like Jay was there. I know Scarface was running the division there. Wasn't Ross running the division? At, uh, no, they didn't. Not really. Face I know the, that they weren't like maybe you know real. Hove was the execs. only real like exact like in the office rapper. But I can understand why Def Jam would have been like you know let's try not to do this again and again and again. Even though they were wrong. I, listen, man. Yeah, I think bring, they let's need bring Paul in. <laughs> Khaled <laughs> won't get it done, but let's this, bring him. That in. was six years ago. Eight. Eight years ago. Okay, so that still, you won't sign that. You won't bring in that Khaled, but you bring in this Paul. <laughs> Same I, thing. I feel you. I just that's they, when Paul should have been. That in. They did the right thing, but I understand why that they could maybe decide to not bring in yet another artist to yeah. be an executive at that time. I, they need the the executive that's gonna get their hands dirty and really go outside the way Irv used to get shit done because Irv really used to be with the artist and be in the studio and be with the producers and really be hands on. It wasn't the cushy job that it kind of turned into. To at least get results, in my opinion. Right. And, and I think Khaled it, does that shit. And Irv did it in the era where it was it was really hard to get a lot of records done with other other artists back then. Yeah. You couldn't send the Pro Tools back yeah, then. Yeah, so like, <laughs> you had so to you bring gotta, the real. Yeah, so it's a different level of respect you got to have for executives that were, a, were able to do that back then. Uh, where yeah. now is you can just <laughs> send a... Yeah, send a MP3 to through. somebody and in you, LA. And, and you know what's record. wrong. Yeah. You know what's missing. Yeah. Because by the time you turn an album in, then the president hears it and it's like, well, the artist is satisfied. This is what I wanted. mm and the building isn't. There's right. no synergy there. You're yeah. turning in a final product. Right. We don't know what's going to work and what's not going to work. You're not in the studio there. And a lot of the artists used to spend more time at the labels back then. Mm. Like you would go mm. to Def Jam and you would see a Joe Button walking through the halls. You would see Jay walking through the halls. You mm-hmm. would see Beanie Siegel walking through the halls. You would see like all of these artists walking through the halls and it's like they fucked with the people. They was at the cubicles. Because you had to touch people there. back yeah. then. Red yeah. used right. to smoke Even in the your bathrooms. label. Yeah. yeah. Now it really just is a numbers game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I'm sitting home fucking obsessing over numbers and I'm like, damn, like you kind of have to watch numbers now because we're that's all, we all of us are numbers. It yeah. <laughs> yeah. goes back to the Kanye delete the tweets or delete the likes argument. Like A&Rs in this day and age wouldn't be able to, they, they would be lost if they didn't have A lot of artists need follow. A&Rs though. Yeah, I'm, no doubt. I'm, all for I'm A&Rs saying that the, A&R, the, the A&R gig now is yeah. find people with good numbers. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I mean, there's there's oh, and playlisting me, to it now. That's what a lot of NRs do is playlisting. Really Which quick. Shit placed. Really, really quick before I forget, I, I hate to be the this guy. Bad Bobby, kind of. I heard something recently. She, she kind of killed it. Whatever it was. I don't know the name. Of, I don't know. I don't know. She got to wait in line. <laughs> but wait, I don't, I don't, she did this joke? I don't I so. know. I think she oh did too. Oh my gosh. I brought it up here once and Joe laughed at me. Yeah, because what you want me to do? <laughs> I, that would be the one to come I out of the I think people should stop me. dissing Joe, honestly. No. People no, should no, not. No. Come on. I'm telling you, it's over. That fad is over. There's it's no, for us? It is, huh? No, y'all, now, y'all, y'all oh. good. Y'all good. Y'all could diss Joe. But these other niggas, no, 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 no. That fad has run its course. No, nah, a group chat be way more funny when someone disses you. They don't yeah, do it true. great. I know. That's why yes. we laugh. No, I'm with you. Some people <laughs> yeah, shouldn't stop, be able, allowed right? to diss you, but I'm all for people dissing you, though. I like it. <laughs> what was the last good Joe Budden diss? Not Lil, yours, Lil to B. you. He, yeah, he smokes you. Yeah. Lil B steamed me right on up. Yeah. He called you a nasty old man. He gave you a nasty one. Wrapped me back into a foxhole. <laughs> <laughs> Everything he said to me is exactly how I would have killed him. <laughs> 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 Uh, B Shout out to Lil B, B man. The bass guy gave me the blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best laugh in the world. That's crazy. Uh, let's keep it on. New- I tried to get Lil B to our, our San Francisco show, but he was out of town. That would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. Yeah. I Next agree, show. but I won't be the third person to say it. <laughs> I don't want to be the third person to say it. Um, let's keep it on. New music. Bra, brand new Lupe Fiasco. None of you lie to me and tell me you understand it yet. You don't <laughs> understand. I mean, I've, I kind of vaguely a, get it. Well, the first ten songs is like a concept album of the slave ship that the hit slave the rock. Ship, the people go overboard and then live under the ocean. Yes, it's kind of out there, but it's pretty cool. I even like the hook when the when they're friends. <laughs> they're talking about the lobsters. Yo, are when cool they're friends and, with the lobsters yeah. and shit, I was kind of jamming. <laughs> 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 All right, so this nigga went and watched The Little Mermaid and got inspired. All of a sudden, no, we we was we was we was living in a pineapple under the sea at one point, and we was jamming. Fucking lit. He's friends I, with the lobsters. The seahorses are down, listen, holding you down. All sometimes shit? you yeah. overthink shit, man. <laughs> did you listen though? I did, but it's like you. I want to hear it. You didn't think the I lobsters were it. cool? I want to hear it. I Bro, want. I want. I thought that song I'm, was good. I'm very appreciative <laughs> that there is two percent of artists out there still willing to do that. Yeah, that do that. Yeah, because yeah. I, 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 I was I was listening to Lupe's album because you know I'm I'm the main nigga that's always like yo Lupe Lupe why ain't wanting Lupe yeah, Lupe, yeah. Lupe so I'm listening to the album and I'm like. It hit me. Uh, oh, this is, this is not for niggas. Yeah, this ain't for this ain't. I don't know for who people. it's for really. Like <laughs> that's my. This point. is but this it's is, <laughs> and and I said the same thing that Parks just said. I don't know who it's for. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's well written. It's well produced. Okay. Like it's he's a lot of well. words, so what, a lot Lupe, to consume. Lupe is never gonna give you. I don't think he's gonna ever give you a bad sound like he's never gonna give you no, bad but, music no, that's but you're missing it Lupe uh, now I'm forced to believe Lupe can deliver concept albums deep concept albums in his sleep no for sure like <laughs> yeah, he's because yeah. this is an this insane concept <laughs> he's just super crazy he's one of those super intelligent the dudes though and whales. Yeah, I feel like this is him on mind. his that, that was light little. <laughs> oh no he didn't sound like he was trying once yeah that was just 10 songs then he goes into a whole regular album yeah, yeah. that, that sounds like the album of a nigga who was trying to call next in the Joe Budden M beef <laughs> Sure. <laughs> let me just show you what my mind is at. Let me show you what my mind is at. I ignored every tweet from him. Listen, him. <laughs> Back to you, Marshall. Not you. I stopped. All right. Relax. Well, I, will, uh, I will say this about Lupe. I know everyone focuses on how crazy. Yo, Lupe is the Lupe can rhyme. Nah, he can. Yeah, he Lupe can rhyme. Now, I've never seen him engage, but if you're just going on his ability to rhyme words, you, you oh yeah, would have, you would this, have to this, this, this his, album shows you where he can take his. You mind. have to fear that mind. Yeah, his yeah. mind can go. Not so rhyming fast. words, because anybody he'll could nerd do that. Kill you, so yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, well, no, I was saying with Lupe, everyone Andres. focuses on his lyrical shit. But if you look at Lupe's albums, he picks really good beats no, to go does. along with that. He does. The hooks are really good. Like mm-hmm. he's not one of those lyrical miracle. You're just gonna rap me to death for twenty tracks, and I'm gonna lose interest. Yeah, no. The hooks be fire. Yeah. yeah. The beats are good for the type of music w- he's trying to make. I will say that I feel he like he doesn't get no production credit on shit. hooks on this, but that was cool. You know, it was well. I mean, done. he has on. Uh, I always know out. Lupe that do the singing hooks. That's true. Yeah, Lupe. Like, That's true. I didn't feel like it was any more or less. Yeah, I guess it's just the sheer number of songs that makes. it I just never a hear anyone talk to listen Lupe to. with production and hooks. An hour and forty minutes is a lot. Well, now there was the one time where he tried to go like a little electronica. With the oh, production. I, think I, I think I skipped that one. Yeah, that was the one at the end. 
Mm, it was like his fourth album, maybe or something like that. Oh, you talking about album? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I think yeah, I skipped. Yeah. I don't. Think oh, I there's heard a couple songs. Oh no, like, I ain't listening to that one. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. No, 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 that, uh, no. That King Nas record, I think, was one of the standouts to me. Yeah, I really, dope. really enjoyed that record. That had a lot of replay. Roy, don't be the guy to come and tell us your standouts. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, they say we don't You're break out. Real down. highlight the on. Yeah, Sony bag. What is Roy doing? He doesn't even work for Sony. Still in that bag though. Still in that focus. He's trying to get that. That's a Joe being a hypocrite, man. Y'all never have nothing to say about a topic. Then we have something to say about the topic. Yo, what the fuck? You got that's, something to say about this topic? Joe. You don't know that that's Joe no, by now. I just want the listeners to point out because they believe everything Joe said. I do want y'all to say something about the standout tracks, though. Get into his shit. All right, all right. Let's let You don't have favorite songs? I thought a highlight. No, I do, but just don't call them that. Don't call them standout don't tracks. Call, don't call them standouts. <laughs> okay. One of my favorite songs. <laughs> there you go. Was the King Nas. You know what's fire on there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, give me some of that. Yo, you know what's hard. Yeah. <laughs> nah, standouts. He in that bag. All right. It's, it's standing out. All the records were sitting, and then one stood up. <laughs> yeah, this nigga. <laughs> yo, I'm sick of seeing LeBron in a Lakers jersey. He ain't stopped smiling since We ain't played one game. <laughs> Basketball season, they start. And I haven't seen LeBron everywhere in a Lakers jersey. And it's like a Kith brand. It like fit different than everyone it else. It is the Kith Lakers jersey. <laughs> you notice that LeBron's jersey don't fit that like no Vic, one else's. That Victor Cruz sign. <laughs> Yo, like, why is LeBron him. wearing an autographed Victor Cruz Yo, jersey? Joe go find a way to talk about Vic and this fucking Kith. Yeah, that's my nigga, but enough, 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 enough. Nah, let him get his bag. What bag? I'm sure Kith is paying him, Joe. No, of course. <laughs> He's not just of doing course. that off GP because no, he liked course, the clothes. No, 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 true. <laughs> That Kif Versace shit. <laughs> Kif got to chill with Speaking all the fire Versace's shit. Speaking of Versace, Michael Kors, man. Sachi Kif, Kif is crazy. Kif Sachi. <laughs> Kif Sachi. <laughs> Kif Sachi Kors. <laughs> Kif Sachi. <laughs> Kif Sachi. Oh, go on now. Get him and Kif Sachi, just... Kif Sachi, Kif Sachi. <laughs> Rory, get out. <laughs> get out, Rory. I feel like I feel like Rory was supposed to get out last week and he didn't get out. Yeah, no, I'm was, I haven't left. I'm still little here. Jewel Santana, Sin Santana. That was a, that was a yeah. great joke. No, I wish we had the Kawhi laugh last week. What y'all think about that uh, Cardi and Party record? She smoked that. A feature is great. She smoked that record. I think the industry is they they get ready to push that Party Fontaine dude. I think he's about to be like one of the new pins that's in demand. Yeah, because I guess the fact that Cardi gave him that feature so quickly mm. yeah, definitely so feels like there's something behind that. Yeah, no, I that it's like not just well, like they, a they have history. Yeah, I yeah. know, but yeah. Them, Cardi they, got history with a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, plus their names around. That too. Mad party yeah, with Cardi just, lines. Yes, at one point, his was just party. Their name, their name and now he added to Fontaine to it. I like Fontaine. Yeah, I do too. That's a nice addition. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so is that all you had? I mean, I, yeah, I just I just thought about it because I do like that record a lot. Who is he signed to? I'm not sure. Somebody. I'm gonna guess it. I'm not sure who he's signed to, but he's. I, I feel like he's the he's the next. I don't hot, think hot pin in the industry. I don't think Atlantic is just clearing Cardi features if it doesn't behoove them as well. Yeah, that's a good point. That, yeah, that kid's nice though. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I'm not taking any talent away from him. He, I just think there's he, something else he, there. He, he's nice, and, and the records be hard, and she sure smoked that. I was going to mention it last week. I only didn't mention it because it sounded like she was dissing Nikki, and I'm over it. That's yeah. the only reason I didn't bring it up. Yeah. Well, I'm, there's, I'm, there's I'm, more. I'm finished. I'm finished. I want it to be finished too, but they won't let us be finished. No, no, we, have, we have a choice because <laughs> we, we, we can stop. We, got we can a quickly put into it. Yeah, it's a lot of it falls on us too because yes. we keep giving it a oh, lot no, of uh, yeah. Of course, yeah. Steam, but like, they continue, and more news comes out like that just came out. That women are going to be catty. Yeah, oh, of course, forever. But come on, tell us the new news. Uh, the, the new old news. So yeah, Future was originally on the record. Drip. Nikki said, "Get the fuck off that! Or you're not coming on tour with me." And then she replaced Future with the Migos, but the actual reference track leaked well in my version of that future was on the original version of cardi's drip nikki yeah. called said yo either you off that record or you off my tour and then so you skipped a part you skipped a part where future obliged well <laughs> and, obviously see, that's, I, I didn't think I needed that's, to, that's the big but yeah but let's, let's say, say it that. let's He's say what, let, let's say when the big cool superstars start obliging yeah like that's, that's important, important. Yeah, that because important. they never let us know when they're obliging. Yeah. 
Future obliged Which quickly crazy, for a tour a really that big record. for a tour that it's a big record in hindsight. See, big records aren't big records when they're in production of still. So you kind of need to know it's a big record. I think Future has the ability to know what a big record is. So that oh, means absolutely. he knew what was going on mm -hmm. when he said when he called Cardi and said, "Yo, Nicki Wallen, man, just just tell your man do it." I still every time we talk about Future, I can't believe like. The, the night he brought his record to Sin City, and I was sitting there killing trash and that shit. Like Which he, record? Uh, you should love March Madness. No, hell no. no it was, what was his first? Super early. Super first, early. His first one that blew up. When he he was when he was working records in New York. He was the, the, a tall dude at Sin City with dreads jumping around, and nobody knew this record he but him. He looked nuts. And I was like, "Dog, who is this dude? <laughs> all of them niggas. And a week later, that shit was all over. Tony Montana. All of them Atlanta oh, yeah, okay, superstars okay. looked a little nuts to us until they didn't. Yeah, I was in there like, all right, fam. Yeah, that's why you can't. Like, Future really did grind for a while. He did. You can't, yeah. You can't say that was some overnight no, shit or like absolutely. he was a, a not a one-hit wonder, but did that and then had a career. Mm-hmm. He was definitely putting out some shit before it just wasn't clicking. Yeah. Yeah. Then he gave Sierra one. See, that's why you got to be real. I'm not writing to say nothing. <laughs> well, nah. He, uh, he, he snuck in that duet with Rihanna, and then I was sold after that. That love song record on oh, yeah. uh, whatever, Unapologetic, whatever album that Rihanna shit is. Yeah. At the time, I was like, damn, he left the ref vocals in there? Why did he do that? <laughs> Actually, let me not sidebar. I hate to be that guy. You're him. And let me. And you're let always me, that guy. No, you're him. I am that guy, right? You're that guy. But I hate me. <laughs> That's okay. Some people hate themselves. All right. I know. We've heard the music. I think Sin kind of came in the house, played a record that sounded real good the other day. <laughs> I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, Joe is so stupid, man. Wait. Sin can't listen. You know why Joe's Joe stupid? Because he, he probably liked the record but wouldn't tell Sin that. Like, he listened well, to I'm, it. I'm he sitting there like, with my NR face yeah. on still, like. <laughs> All right, you, you, you know what else you want to do? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, you, try you to want to drop the drums out? Yeah, we well, try to take this record though. Like, we're, 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 we're pushing Maul. it. Yo, Marlon, were you trying to take us? <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck. That's what you was asking Sid. Sid, like, nigga, I don't know. Like, <laughs> that's why I'm bringing it to you. Where you trying to take us? I just had to sit back and laugh at like God and just like life. Like, I'm sitting there listening to my partner's record, retired. Like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> and it's good. Yeah. That's how I know I should be retired. When you start thinking like that? Or just when your girl is making things good records. Things change, yeah. I mean, she yeah. could diss everyone for you. True. And it might work. Listen, before I was in, heavy into this retirement, shit, I saw the wave of women coming and I, I was I told, told mm -hmm. me, oh, I want to sign one. Yeah. Y'all know, I wanted to sign me a, a girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was that was plain as day that that wave was coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit, now you're now still ripping shit. I wish more would call Naya. <laughs> she don't follow sure me on Instagram, is. so I ain't talking to her right now. Wait, Damn, what? what uh -huh, I don't know. She just don't follow me. I don't know. I don't care about Y'all know I don't give a fuck. No, no, no. That. But the no, art, we didn't ask you. But these niggas always want to tell us when they don't care. But <laughs> we didn't ask know, you that, Paul. But we didn't ask you about you caring. So okay, you already so cool in our book. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> there's no cooler that you can be by not caring in this moment. Mm -hmm. Why is she unfollowing you? I don't know, Joe. You know, I don't. Did her following number, like, significantly drop? Yeah, she went to one of those, I think. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. She's down to 30 or something? I didn't yet. I didn't, nah, not 30. Maybe 100 or something. I didn't make the okay. cut, though. It's okay. I really hate when these chicks move to Atlanta to, like, post and erase more? all their pictures and start from scratch. I don't know. <laughs> how come chicks get to start from scratch? Like, you know what? How, my, how much my life would be in a disarray if I just erased everything from Instagram? <laughs> 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 nah, we should try that. We should try it. Fancy came to me one day talking about, yo, you got a few of your exes, uh... Back 900 weeks. I was like, uh... <laughs> I didn't uh, scroll back that far. Just, like, I haven't even gone to last week. Niggas never delete that far back. Yeah. We don't know what we're doing. And why, I'm, why are women going that far back? I'm, I had to go back and, and delete some of my old pictures on Instagram. Just because it was like the why pictures. Why are you single? No, the, no, it wasn't even like that. The pictures were just trash. Oh, he was mollied up. I wasn't mollied up. <laughs> the pictures were just... I was taking pictures of stupid shit. It was like, what the fuck is this doing? First of all, a lot of people... Oh, you know, everybody went through that phase Molly. when they was trying taking to figure out... Because, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. no. you know, the cool pictures used to be like, you know... go through that phase. Like the plate. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, but you would actually post it on your page. Yeah. Right. Remember when now you do, the plate goes on your story. So remember when you threw like, the 1977 filter on like everything yeah, to make it look yeah, cool? Yeah. Yeah, it was I had to delete a bunch of those. I you, took a picture of the TV that was watching Boardwalk one night. You went, what the fuck is this? You went through your artsy phase. 
I thought I was. I thought it was art. <laughs> you still be trying to get into a little artsy phase bag. Yeah, like you, It goes on a story, though. Like yeah, the 25. upside down Yankee. You still try to keep a little artsy wave in your bag. Yeah, I try. I, I notice it. I just want to let you know. Thank you, bro. Damn, nigga, that shit's like gleaming. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, said, you just yeah. use the word gleaming? No, gleaming. Okay. Gleaming. Like, like, right, this is that's definitely gleaming, new That's joke. gleaming right there. <laughs> 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 that was gleaming. That's gleaming. That was... <laughs> <laughs> no, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> no way. I'm, I'm making sure you this yeah, awful yeah, shit. Hold yeah, up. Let me see. Yeah, we'll Guys, oh. we're recording the podcast. All right, we back. We are back. No, I meant to show that tomorrow. That's nice, though. All right. Where's my phone? What else we have? Armand has my phone. All right. Uh, come on, Rory. Give me your B mic back. <laughs> Save us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Little Yachty is now going to star in How High 2 Wait what We're pretty much done with our, our list so that's, that's, that's why I'm just throwing things out there Hey now. wait a minute don't y'all shit on Yachty I'm supposed to have a pull up with Yachty coming Oh that should be fun And the last time y'all joked about my Jay Prince pull up It mysteriously got cancelled the morning of <laughs> So uh, you, need, you need us to be there I the, haven't gone to Houston one? since <laughs> So Smart move Y'all simmer it down yeah. I think we just got good in the A again With, <laughs> with the A. Yeah with P in them <laughs> y'all, th- y'all think we just didn't have a tour stop there <laughs> We skipped the whole <laughs> ATL yeah. New Orleans no, Houston like, no. Dallas Come to the A We're like yo we gonna get yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's no. coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, nah, my man, I don't know if he's safe in the A like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, if you're supposed, what are we gonna do? Promote it? Like <laughs> we're gonna pop up show and the number one nobody. song out the A is calling me pussy right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna wait till next summer. Right. <laughs> see what we'll, see what the song of the summer there is. Do a Yachty pull up. Uh, <laughs> be really nice. I told Yachty, but listen, before I mean the pull, if you need us there, don't hold you down. Just let me know. No, because Yachty said, uh He said, Yo, we me and you should do a pull up. And I said, all right, what you thinking? I was thinking you come to Atlanta and we do it in my house. <laughs> Man, uh, smart. Uh, <laughs> nah, uh, uh, all right, uh. All right, uh. I well, see why you think that. I'm going to hit Ian up. <laughs> yeah. That shouldn't have been the call you were supposed me, to make. Me and Ian will get on the plane. We'll shoot right down to your crib. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ian shouldn't have been your first call. Tell Key, Yachty, key, go key, pull key, up key, key was like, yeah, you think that's such a great idea? <laughs> This, that's when I knew something was wrong. And Keeb was saying that, number one. <laughs> and number two, I said, hey, Keeb, man, if it go down, we, well, it got me in a nigga living room, then God damn it, I deserve it. <laughs> <For real. laughs> if well, I'm right. in there talking about, so, Yachty, how high too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They be like, nah, we about to hang you high yeah. over this house. How high you want to get home? <laughs> I'll just be upside down like, only Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my only Joe only would you. be here for an interview. <laughs> only you. See, but my thing, what, what will work to my advantage is, no, whatever is happening in that house, we filming it. Okay, I see where you're going with it. If they got Joe upside down, hanging from the ceiling fan, Get the interview. guess what's going out the next week? Yeah. Joe hanging upside yeah. down <laughs> from Yachty ceiling fan. Go Whatever. Some, <laughs> something tells me when you're content. hanging upside down, you won't be able to reach your camera, and they will be able to reach it. That's great content. <laughs> I don't think that footage is going to leave with you. Uh, yeah, but I don't think it hurts them at all. <laughs> right. Yo, we want to put out this footage that makes y'all look mad good. <laughs> no. Like, I don't think it would go like that. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my pull-up that I have planned. So, hopefully these guys don't fuck it up. Shout out to Lil Boat, who did tell me he's working on a movie. He didn't say it was How High 2. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it was announced. But who's the other person? Yeah, where, is he Method Man or is he Red Man? He's Yachty. Yeah, but who's who's the other person? Maybe it's Red Man and Method Man. Right, nah, well, I'm, right, sure, right, I'm sure. I'm sure Red and Meth are being there at some Parks point. Parks is high. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up? It's gonna be Parks and Yachty. Red Man and Meth. <laughs> Parks and Yachty. Yachty. <laughs> I'm still not over Parks not being able to park anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not off of that, but it's cool. Uh, and you guys see the Quincy Jones doc? I did. Yeah, yeah. Watched it the other night. Watched it last. Can night. we? Can we? Let's let's hold that because I want to keep TV shit together. <laughs> we not off of. Uh, oh, we was done with Future and that Cardi shit. Yeah, yeah that's done. Oh, I didn't get in that Cardi interview. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you do want to talk about it. So, so I, yeah, and I'm not going to be very long with this. Uh, there was a Cardi interview that she wasn't a part of. It was just about her. It was a young lady on YouTube. I won't mention her name. Interviewing another young lady. I won't mention her name either. Um, so you'll just have to find this shit on your own because I'm not supporting women tearing down women. I just, I'm just i just not doing it. It's one of the reasons I didn't talk about the Cardi party record 
because there was some Nicki shit in there. And back to my point I was trying to make earlier, I'm just over it. I'm like, it's been, it's been, and it's not that it's a lackluster beef to pay attention to because boy, do they keep adding new, new elements. <laughs> uh, but personally, I'm just over it. We don't have enough women in hip hop for me to continuously watch two of them beef with each other, especially when the two of them are good. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm so, with, I'm with you on so, that. so I'm, so I'm off of that. And, when Nicki dropped her album, I was the main one saying, all right, that, that should be proof that we, we need them both and we shouldn't compare them both because they both do two different things, regardless of their fight with each other. So now here this interview comes out. It's some chick that allegedly, you, she's, it's some chick getting an interview basically spilling all Cardi's old business. This chick says she used to live with Cardi. Uh, she used to, she got Cardi a job at Sue's cause she was popping at Sue, uh, cause she was the one popping at Sue's when Cardi couldn't find a spot to be nowhere. Said Cardi has herpes, Cardi sold pussy, Cardi did this, Cardi did that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so what? <laughs> so what? Like, as this interview was going on, you know, and I said, oh, wow. However many podcasts ago that, you know, I love hip hop just because we're all encompassing. We are so welcoming of of all. So I'm reading this interview. I mean, I'm listening to this interview and she's supposed to be given this list of reasons as to why Cardi is nasty and to why Cardi is trash. And I'm just receiving it like, wow, Cardi's amazing. Like you name in all these things that she she rose up from. <laughs> That's the part. You, people you miss. name in that, all of these things that, so great. That, yeah. that were against her. Yeah. Like. I'm not holding herpes against against her. Right. What they fucking do? Right. You know, I mean, chicks I know with herpes that ain't got smashes. Right. <laughs> What's their excuse? Right. I'm just saying, Cardi don't. Cardi tells us who she is. I'm tired of people attacking people that tell us who they are. <laughs> and not only that, it's like when you tell us, it's like why you wait till. Why? But why? Yeah, why? Yeah, why? Like why you wait till this woman is at? No fuck. Wait. Fuck. <clears throat> Why then? Why period? No, why period? But especially like, so you decide to jump out there now for what? To try to throw dirt. This on her does name? what for you? This this hinders you. This hurts you. Unless you're paid for this interview, and that was probably the, pennies. Uh, I just don't get the point. The kids have a turn of it's women chasing, tearing down women. But that's the funny thing, Rory. These women are on here. This woman is on here accusing Cardi of clout chasing. <laughs> 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 Bitch. <laughs> Accusing and while Cardi she's accusing clout Cardi of clout chasing the interviewer who's based in Atlanta, so even that was confusing for me because Cardi spends a lot of time in Atlanta, man's in Atlanta, they in Atlanta. Mm. While you accusing Cardi of being a fucking uh, a clout chaser, you're flashing, you're stopping the video to put your YouTube name, <laughs> yeah, your business, your yeah. hair salon, your nail salon, whatever the fuck you got. Mm. It's just all nasty. It's nasty, nasty, nasty. I watched it and I felt bad. I felt bad because I called this a while ago. The second that steam stop a little bit is when they all come out to play. Mm -hmm. Shit. Steam mm -hmm. ain't stopped. She got a number one record right now. Yeah, but no. She has no, what? What's the number one record right now? The shit with Maroon 5. Yeah, that that's don't count. One. That don't count. It's up there, but she don't count. I mean, but that don't count. And that's what I'm saying when the steam appears to have stopped because mm -hmm. the business is still the business. It's still running. Right. It's still working. Atlantic is doing what they're doing. She, she, she going to have more number one records coming. That's, the steam is not letting up there. But impact-wise, like the hood, it could seem like it slowed down a bit and that's when all your haters are going to come out. I just still don't understand the purpose of interviews like this. I'm not even going to spend any more time on it because it's nasty, but... You could just hear lies all in this shit. The girl is saying that she made $2,000 a night working at Sue's in 2010. Hey, I know a lot of y'all not from New York. Take it from me. No, she didn't. <laughs> no, she didn't. She yeah, did not. I no, no, I would have no. recognized as soon as I've seen the video. Nigga, I would have paid her. Yeah, no, I don't. I, don't. I, I would have been one of the people paying her for the night in 2010. Mm. Many a nights I was in Sue's in 2010, 2011. Cardi was in there too. She was. I don't remember this girl. Even though she does look familiar. <laughs> she looks familiar But I'm saying If you was bad I'd have known Because I'd have paid you <laughs> Right And all the bad chicks Wasn't even in Sue's In 2010 It was like three leftover yeah. Holdovers From the golden glory days Yeah Sue's was one night That was Tuesdays 
What? Yeah, if that's the other thing. What every night could you make two grand in sues? Yeah, no. Lie to me and say the case late night. Yeah. <laughs> 2010, you was definitely in Sin City. You was definitely in. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's nasty. Yeah. Nasty, nasty, nasty. She gets a nasty award. Women, that, that might be the first nasty award to, to a woman. To a woman? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's nasty. Um, That's all I had. That's all I had for Cardi. That's my little woman womanly rant. Okay. All right, do y'all want to get in uh, the Quincy shit now? I started it. You didn't finish it? I didn't finish it because my young girlfriend was asking me a bunch of questions. <laughs> Who's Quincy about, Jones? Quincy. Who's Quincy Jones? What well, is, that's why she what, what does he do? Is he rich? <laughs> Baby. Yeah. Just, just yes. watch the doc. Yeah, watch the doc. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the doc. They'll answer I, everything. No, no, one time I said, yo, I don't even know myself. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sit here I'm and try, watch I'm it. I'm trying to get in, in my Quincy you bag. Your name sounds familiar, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know? The name sounds familiar. <laughs> it, was um, a, it was a great doc. You saw the whole thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it was a great. Doc. All of y'all saw the whole thing. Yeah, we're yeah. such we're such music nerds. Yeah, I mean, sure. Quincy Jones, Quincy, that's like music nerds. That's, 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 music nerds. that's, that's like, that makes us a music. When nerd. he started talking about playing the fucking in Lionel Hampton's band, yeah, and he shit, bugged they, out. Right. I was like, dog, listen, all right, Quincy, <laughs> like really, Lionel Hampton, like, like yeah, he come was It was it was like the Jimmy Iovine shit where it just reminded me, right. All the extra, like outside of the Michael Jackson shit, like you did mad shit, man. Quincy Jones, he's uh, after. I mean, I kind of already knew it, but he's definitely a national treasure of ours for sure. Well, like after sure. watching all of that, it's like, fam, you, well, you sound like sin. You didn't know? No, I knew, but it's like <laughs> after watching that, it's like we don't say it enough, though. Like people don't talk about Quincy Jones enough. Like coming through all that he came through and watching that and seeing all of these great musicians and people that he's worked with and how they thought so highly of him, we don't talk about Quincy Jones enough. Like he's a national treasure, treasure for sure. Like we need to start really giving him that and, and saluting him while he's still here, for sure. We don't really do that. We don't salute we don't, the eighty-five year old. Yeah, like come on, here. man. Right. Yeah, like Quincy's eighty something. So like we gotta start. Like I mean, listen, man. That's you a could make a solid tra- argument that he's the greatest producer to ever live. That's for that. Sure. That is a solid <laughs> argument. Like yeah. that is a very solid argument. It's not too many arguments against it, really. Yeah, yeah like being but, fourteen George, playing George in. Martin, <laughs> that's about it. George, yeah, being fourteen playing in Lionel Hampton's. Band is like, come on, man! Like right. your life was just like lit. Forever. Word, he said, I, yeah, I was in there body and shit. Then they told me to go holler at some nigga named RC. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I went over there, and I was seventeen and composed her album. And I was like, well, at seventeen, <laughs> and y'all wonder why he's in this interview asking about Brazilian music. Yeah. He's ran out of everything, man. Yeah, I was like, wait, <laughs> he's just what? trying to find new music. No, yeah. I was wondering how anybody doubted him saying all of those famous <laughs> musicians got fucked in the ass by yeah. dudes. Yeah. How do you Five watch years. his? How do you watch the Quincy doc and not believe every word from his? Yeah, yeah. How? And I'm not saying it's all true, allegedly. Right. But I believe it all. I believe I it. It's every wild. last yeah. second of it. Yeah, I believe it. Because Quincy's from he's from that time where it was like he'll say something that now today where it's, it's wild. like what? Yeah, but and he look at you like that was like Damn, no, that was weird. <laughs> we <laughs> all was fucking man. I yeah, bust like, Teddy yeah. Pendergrass ass. Now. <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you talking about, nigga? You ain't hear some of them songs? <laughs> Relax. Who you think it was? It was me. <laughs> I'm him. I'm him. I'm who he was talking about. He is I. Who you think turned off the lights? (laughs) Who you think turned off the lights for Teddy, huh? Who? Come on. We are all nasty. See, I'm trying to play a song to be funny. I spelled his name wrong. (laughs) Who you think turned off the lights for Teddy? There we go. Who's his publisher? That just sounds like nasty music. You know, it sounds no, sound like a Quincy harp. You know, Quincy put that little. Listen to this shit again. Listen to the harp. Just like Pharrell, I can count. find ten Michael Jackson records that start like that right now. That's his Pharrell four count. <laughs> That's his Lil Wayne lighter. For sure, for sure. That's his stamp. Right. That's when the Quaaludes is being handed out <laughs> and crushed. <laughs> Oh, oh. They was thinking. having all the fun. I didn't even Word. think of that. They was crushing them too. Oh, oh man, I be crushing aspirin sometimes trying to get the party <laughs> yo. started. Stupid, yo, bumping man. aspirin is sick. <laughs> stupid man. Holy shit. You can get eye over a lot of wild shit. Yeah. I remember one time niggas handed out Tylenol in the party and was like, watch, watch, oh, watch, watch six start acting like they really feel us up. <laughs> And sure enough, like three girls was like, yo, I'm lit. I'm like, you know you're not. <laughs> Chicks just be wanting to get lit. Niggas handed you eccentric. <laughs> like, what you talking about? Yeah, you just don't have a headache now. Chicks always want an excuse to be lit. Like, I'm lit. Oh, yeah, my God. I, I, but I appreciate them. I appreciate those girls. Yeah, I had to laugh Because I've it. done it, too. <laughs> just got to laugh at it. 
like wasn't drinking a thing. Like yo, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, room spinning. I, I missed oh, room whoa. spinning. <laughs> <laughs> I skipped that phase because I was actually the room. The shit. <laughs> well, don't do that. I didn't drink nothing but the yeah. room is spinning. Whoa, can't drive tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you staying? <laughs> I think I'm going to have to stay here. Yo. Yeah, I think I'm sorry. Yo, let me just lay down on your bed for a minute. Yeah, while you're there. <laughs> while you're there. While yeah, you're don't try it. to leave. Because yeah, no. you might get the considerate chick that, oh, you can take my bed. No, 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 no. I, I no, don't no. be alone. No, no. Yeah, I can't be alone tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know, the excuses men will come up with to stay at short time. Lie to me, and, lie to me, and tell me that y'all never said I can't be alone tonight. For sure. Oh, well, you were going through for something. Sure, yeah, yeah. I feel you needed yeah. to be held. Yeah, nigga, for sure. Oh man, being held saved me on so many nights. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm oh, not trying to be God. funny. Or, or like, no, I, no, I understand. Oh, I man. What was we talking about? Oh, Quincy, man. Quincy. This ain't no hold me at all. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's really his laugh, though. Not the one he has. Because <laughs> Joe want to be held. <laughs> Why the fuck send more homie? <laughs> I can hear in your voice. I should call her. I swear to God. I'm not doing that right now. Um, all right, back to the doc. Back to Quincy. Yeah. Legend, man. We got, like I said, man, we got to start saluting Quincy while he's still here, man. For sure. We have to. Salute, Quincy. Thank you. Yeah, you get a, Quincy gets <laughs> From the salute. Joe Button Podcast. I hope it means, Yo, Savon, check if Quincy a has a Lifetime Achievement Award at the BET. Uh, he's got every Lifetime Achievement Award. You know, he better. Imagine. If he don't, we canceling BET tonight. <laughs> he better have a Lifetime Achievement Award. He better have more than no, that. No, I'm going to be too tired <laughs> to cancel anything tonight. <laughs> Your friends always want to make decisions. Yo, tonight is over. Not tonight. Like, tonight <laughs> no, I'm busy. I'm catching this episode. Had tonight. a long day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to catch this episode and then we can cancel. They'll say, Von check shit and never tell us. Like, are you telling us? He don't? Not from BET. No, he got from anybody? Uh, some shit in Italy. Grammys? All right. Shout out to the Italians. Grammy. He has a lifetime hey, you got to have a Grammys. million Grammys, no? He's no, got, he has Grammys. Yeah, I'm, talking about a li- <laughs> I'm talking about like a lifetime award. Lifetime. That's sick. That is sick. That's sick as fuck. Well, why hasn't he got one? Word. He ain't got one, but Anita Baker got one. Don't more. All right. No, I love Anita. Oh, I love whoa. Anita. No, no, no. Listen. Whoa. I love no, Anita. No. I love Anita I, Baker. I'll take this whole no, 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 cord out of this I mic. I love Anita Baker, <laughs> no, but no, Quincy Jones no, need one if Anita no, Baker got one. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no you tripping. No, no. Quincy no, Jones don't need one if more, Anita got one? You're, no, you're no, no. You don't have to you don't have to uh down someone else. When you big up someone else, no, it wasn't a down. Anita, was, down Anita, BET still. It, no, no, I'm not downing Anita. I'm da- I'm downing BET for giving Anita one before they gave Quincy one. I'm not downing Anita getting one. Yeah, but they she normally deserves one. Yeah, but, but they saying, normally like, give it to the older, older OGs, like when their health. He seems is the OG. Be, Quincy is the oldest. Said, when their health seems to be in bad shape, he still looked like he bench pressed three fifty and <laughs> and could knock a nigga Quincy out. Quincy was if in it a went diabetic crazy. coma. Yeah, that was one scene. You saw the next scene. <laughs> that was that was a year later. The though. next scene, he said, "Yo, that was a wild night. That was his, <laughs> <laughs> he looked great. That was a whole his year skin later, was all. Bro. Come on, man. That was get, a whole year. You can't later, fool me man. with the stroke. That doc. <laughs> you can't <laughs> fool me. Nobody's trying to fool you. He with did. He did try to fool me. No, he did. Nah, Did he look great the next scene? That wasn't a. It's Can the you way, answer yes or no? It's the way the doc was edited. That was like a year later, Joe. Oh, they spent a lot of time on that doc. Yeah, they did. I think they did span over like four or five years or something like that. A stroke is scary. For sure. Absolutely. A stroke is scary. Anything sudden is <laughs> heart attacks, seizures. Nah, yeah, stress is different. We need to give. We need to give. Even when you, if you survive it, you sometimes can't walk. Half side of your face doesn't work. Like yes. strokes. There's a lot more after it. Yeah. Which is why I said we need to honor Quincy while he's still here. Oh, you know what? Uh, Let me cue up Outstanding just in case. Yeah. Because, uh, and I'm going to report this just because a few people have been saying it to me, which lets me know that a few people know. So, uh, I don't know where this is coming from, but a few people have been telling me to keep Freeway in our prayers. Play, start playing now, please. I don't want to get this sad. Well, Freeway's had yeah. some health issues that he's been yeah. not super public about, but it's definitely had. You know, he was on dialysis at one point. He's yeah, he definitely he has is. some health problems, but yeah, I hope he's all right. Man. He was supposed to be getting a, a, a transplant, I think, and something Which happened I feel with like the donor I, or something like that. Is what they report? Yeah. Wow. 
I believe the donor back backed out, or like I don't, I don't, something happened. So now I think he's well. well Freeway said he uh, he said he's expecting to get a uh, a transplant by the end of the year. So, you know, prayers to Freeway and for sure. Word. We hope that everything goes well and a speedy recovery. Yeah, word. Freeway is one hundred percent in our in our <laughs> prayers. You have our support. Um, not sure what's going on, but you already know niggas love free. So sure. sure. Why is it always hard? <laughs> I heard this song a million times. When this come on, you about three hands in on the spades game. <laughs> Girl, you look. Hey, yeah. Yeah, that's the jam. You got a spade partner? Bum ass nigga. Nah, man. I don't like playing. I, I can't. I got to get my spades game up before I start playing at your crib, though. Because y'all take that shit yeah. way too serious. Yeah. Nah, I feel like you need a lifetime before you get on the tables <laughs> over there. Nah, I'm not That's why spades, I never Joe, fuck with no with table Joe Joe's house. Playing is different, though. They be over there. That shit is but like it's, life. It's, then it's, it's a different. It's not spades. Spades is confusing because everybody in the world can play spades. Right. Like it's a very simple game. Yeah, like I can play. Yeah, the, the rules, rules are extremely the rules simple. Are very, but niggas that <laughs> you got to play. Oh, you, oh, you play play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you play play. Oh, you meant spades. Yeah, spades. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a little different. Um. Oh, so let's also report. Uh, Amber Geiger was fired. Amber Geiger was dismissed from Dallas PD. What that says to me. She, is she won't be facing they can't charges. cover it up they tried to cover it <laughs> right yeah. like but that that says to me that they was trying to hold you down give you the manslaughter shit once they did the investigation they've determined oh bitch you was wilding bitch, you you was wilding There's too many witnesses saying that you was scream saying let me in open the door yeah yeah you gotta go so i was real real happy to hear that let me round of applause because we don't really hear that too often. So great that she was fired. Hopefully she's uh, convicted. Word. Hopefully for more than manslaughter. Word. Without the protection of the blue wall. Word. All right. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was the first time for everything, buddy. Talk to him. <laughs> that, was hey. going, that was going straight to the bag. I'm nice still with my yeah, when, it's, when it's his shit about to get yeah. drenched. When I do shit like yeah, that. Anything else, he just lets point. it go. <laughs> Yeah, you might have been bullshitting for years now I think about it. <laughs> oh, here y'all go. Um, okay, what else is really important? I, somehow I think we got to most of the important shit and none uh, of it was important. Logic had an interesting quote with Huffington Post. Oh, this, this is awesome already. <laughs> <laughs> so, Logic tells Huffington Post, I don't make music for Did hip-hop. they ask him? <laughs> I, I'm reading this from DJ Booth. I don't know. Got it. He said, I'm sure they asked him in an interview. <laughs> At a point of an interview. We don't know. All right, he said, I don't make music for hip-hop. I make music for my fans. That sounded like he just called up there and started telling them. <laughs> they primarily <laughs> love hip-hop music. I love hip-hop music. Guys on board so far? No. <laughs> no, we're not. Not at all. Uh, I used to have this thing in my head. I wanted to make music for the culture. Then I was like, what is the culture even? I don't even know what that means. Did you attempt to answer it, Logic? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to make music for the people who like my music. Hmm. Okay. Just the people that like his music. I hate Logic. <laughs> you haven't full, expressed any of this. He's full of shit. <laughs> that is a lie. I hate Logic. You go. You give me fucking five years of pushing. The, I'm black and I'm white. Cool. And now that enough niggas have complained about it, now then, uh, what is culture even? Like, let me just make music for the people that. Well, no. Ju- judging by what on, you man. said about him, wouldn't this him not being full of shit? Now he's saying, I don't like. I don't do this for the culture. See, I don't even know what that means. I only do it for the people that buy my music. Every judgment I make uh, uh, changes contextually. Mm-hmm. If if this were his stance, and I were to, and I believe that it was sincere, like we never got him pushing the I'm white, I'm black, nigga, I'm making music. Like if he would have came in as the guy who was bodying all of the Seattle touring shit, and now he's just out here selling a million records, and that was how he was on it. I don't think anybody ever has a beef with Logic ever. Mm. Because it's well, nothing I to be about. I think they do, but it's not it only, stretching this it, long. Yeah, of course. But it's only a beef now because this appears like 
you're a cover up. <laughs> right. This don't seem like you just out here making music for the people you make music to. Every time we hear from Logic, he's complaining about his fuck. Come on, man. I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm cool. I, nah, that, I'm cool. I, that shocked me a little bit, to be honest. Because I'm, I'm cool. he's been pretty, you know, Shut up, Logic. vocal about all of the white rappers. How much he studies the, the culture. The white rappers is going nuts this summer. Yeah, it's been, it's all, been all a of very them. interesting summer. Logic for the whites. R- Russ is, is back around. He's in Trey Trey Way now. G Easy, Machine Gun Kelly, and some more white post. Machine Gun Kelly had an album that came out. I don't EP. know if you heard it. EP, yeah. It was EP, yeah. <coughs> All right, it, so it, like it. it was like 10 songs. I think it was out. Yeah, oh. It was out. Okay. I thought I saw him call it. I listened to it once. He doesn't really make music from my. He never, and and that's the thing. Like people saying, oh, all of a sudden we're MGK fans. No. No, not at all. I'm just saying I think that the record was a better sounding record than Killshot. Of course, Eminem hate, raps better. Yo, I hate when fans and people say that. <laughs> I can listen to something that I'm I'm not a fan of. Exactly. Like, like I'm not, no, I'm, I'm not, not all of a sudden an MGK fan, fan now. No. Him and Eminem are going back and forth. I'm going to listen. Yeah, you have to pay <laughs> right. attention to it, but it's like... Oh, now you guys are fans. No. No, no not at all. <laughs> not no, we're board. not. Like, no, not at all. But he's, he still has a better record. Yeah, he probably won that battle. Yeah, he has a better record than Killshot. That's all. Yeah, they tried to do it with Pusha 2 during that... Oh, now you guys are Pusha T fans. Like, no, some people just wanted to hear the diss about hiding a child. Like, right. I'm not going to fault them for that. Right. If they can't name me a clip song, I don't care. Right, exactly. <laughs> like, right. I really don't care. <clears throat> is that an hour and 55 minutes? Yes. Okay. I always get confused. I thought that was a minute and 55 I that, seconds? Uh, no. I thought that it was 155 minutes, even though that thingamajiggy is there. It is confusing. Yeah. And then I was about to be like, whoa, three hours of fucking nothing. <laughs> good, really good podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think we got everything. I don't. I don't have anything else. If we do, I'll get to it Saturday. Oh, Coach. Uh, funny, we were joking, but Coach Key and P uh, have been named Executives of the Year. Wait, what Billboard. did you call them? Uh, Coach Coach K. K. And P. I heard Key and P. Yeah, Key I was like, P. who is I talking <laughs> about? Key and Peel? No, Coach K and P from QC. But one of them from that from whoever you just named got their own show recently, right? Or is that, am I, am I confusing Jordan, them with somebody else? I would imagine. I might Probably be confusing confusing them with somebody yeah. else. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah, congratulations to Coach K and P from QC on Executives of the Year. Uh, to backtrack, there are another current executives that do what I think Irv did and what Khaled does that, like, really be hands-on with shit. I agree. So, good for them. I agree. Uh, Childish Gambino ended a Dallas show early after uh, breaking foot during a dance routine. Now, I only bring that up because what the fuck did you expect? <laughs> How many times you going to dance around shirtless doing the African dance and not break a foot? On you was, all, of, you was already at Rihanna's party doing the, the diamond ball, doing the shirtless dance. You was in the big garage dancing around with your feet moved off, facing awkward. Like, you're going to break something soon, uh, Childish? Yeah, he should probably put some sneakers on. <laughs> yeah, he should chill. Are good at least some yeah. vans, like, like something support, with some man. ankle support. Yeah, he <laughs> needs some artsy vans. Yeah, he, he just put some vapor maxes on. Somebody said had a little interesting childish theory where they was like, "Oh, yo, is childish Gambino using the, the whole black movement as just a gimmick to be accepted socially and musically?" They said that when he put out the "This Is America" thing. Yeah, but now it's it's more than that. It's Atlanta. <laughs> with This Is America with all of this other pro-black shit. I guess their point was the black people wasn't fucking with Childish's music prior to that. Yeah. Mm. And I think, I, I'm I not going to uh, say it, but... I don't want to quote him. He has been in interviews talking about how he did feel a bit alienated from yeah, that world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the Childish Hive can attest to some of this But you also got to think how he started day. out. He definitely started out in the white comedy world. So it wasn't going to be the quickest transaction. Listen, I, to me, it doesn't even matter if, if he I mean, is he or he making, isn't. He was making dope records, period. Though, like he because of the internet is an amazing I mean, I think album. Before things just he I, caught this wave. Yeah, I think things just happen in the world and are happening in the world, and he just you know is 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 he's living in it. And he's drawing creativity from it and just expressing it in his music. There's, while I understand the accusation, there's no metric on. Yeah, a new record. Yeah, genuine. Fire. No metric on heart. Like it's no, you can't prove intent. Yeah. Like there's nothing to measure someone's determination and their and their will that they have to, 
you know, progress and move forward. Like as somebody who's watched Childish for a few years now, I don't care why he evolved, but I'll take the I'll take the evolution. All right, we'll keep I'll that same it. energy with logic, okay? Well, if I believed logic, I would. <laughs> well, you can't prove it. Can't prove his. I know it's only the, heart. It's, I, I know, which is why which is why I'm very careful in saying what I believe because mm. what you believe and what's true are not the same. Always, I believe that logic is not sincere. Now, if he can, if he continues, you know, you prove that through your action. If your actions continue to, you know, then great. But like, I want to root for Kanye. Like, I want to. So yeah. when I see some shit from him, like a streak of believable acts and just like shit that you know. Without you trying to sell a record, then I'm I'm all on board. But all of this other shit, no, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Um, he has that that new record he got is great though. Is with party? No, I don't know. Wait, Summer. are you talking about Kanye? Childish Gambino. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I saw that a new Kanye record with yeah, us. That's great. That that record is cr- crazy. All three or four of them shits that he put out at that yeah. same time are great. Yeah, that record is crazy. Yeah, I liked them. Mm. Um, no, I'm talking about a new Kanye record I saw featuring Party Next Door. Oh, I didn't see that. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that was about. released? And I, it was on iTunes. Was this in your special fantasy football league? Word. Or amongst us mere, uh, mere mortals that don't get new Kanye West records? And I'm no. looking because I, I just seen it recently. And I would have definitely I, yeah, I would have party, <laughs> party next door record. I promise y'all. I said, all right, let me just keep looking then. That's somebody trying to get clicks. Yeah. It was in the Apple store. Yeah, he that bootleg ass he pulled, shit up. No, he pulled, he pulled no. He the Apple store. No, he didn't. They called Wendy that in for, 10 minutes. Yeah, exactly. You sure it wasn't off Ye? Because Party Next Door was on Ye. Well, yeah, it might have been that. What was the name of that song? Uh, Ghost Town. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I thought you were yeah, talking about yeah, like a new, new song. No, no, no. That one had just popped up in oh, the yeah, best that of the new week one? shit. I would have definitely clicked. And that. I didn't listen to the Ye album, so I wouldn't know what was on that shit. Okay. Well, yeah, that's not a new record. All right, so um, the net that is it. All that right. is it for the day. I am finished. I will speak to you niggas on. Oh, we got sleepers, right? I think yeah, so. Sleepers. I could go. I'm already hooked up. Well, you go then, because I don't have them yet. All right, this is uh, 12 Len. Let's stay.
Got something queued up, Ma? Uh, this is this is Uptown Chase, featuring West Side Gun satin jackets. Yeah, yeah, motherfucking name Chase. Motherfucking name Esco. Motherfucking name. Yo, Wes, man, these niggas getting styled by the mannequin. They panicking. The return of young Anakin. Used to have a high top Skywalker, a sly talker. Might off your gray sweater, light parker. Blue denim, nudie jeans, nudie bees. Men are wavy in the two C's, my nigga, wait. I could you stream my motherfucking shoe strings. Shout out to my boo thing, all of them, I'm calling them. Got Russian silken satin on the loafer. Cozy sipping sake on the sofa. I be cooked tilapia and okra. I be got a body, she from Boca. I body any poser. Her body gets the poster. More trees in Minnesota, like Oprah. Giving giveaways to my dinner dates to the Himalayas. I'm fresh squeeze. You pope in a minute, mate. Sort of like a one to one. You one in a million, mate. Wait, million man march all through when I'm killers led. <laughs> in vintage frame cutting. Couldn't find these sachis on my face. Came with the case off. For 998 wait I'm bargain shopping for ball main Mitch working on his golf swing while I'm ashing in the all name All y'all my offspring Why three spring 15 to the drawstring Do this every morning Wake up get fresh get ghost Repping for the coast Never keep it on the low if you know Cocaine castles in the land of the snow 716 Buffalo now you know yeah, my shit is disrespectful. Yeah. Everything I got on, that shit is disrespectful. Yeah. A thousand dollars for the do rag, I'm disrespectful. Word to my satin jacket. Nigga. That's word to my satin jacket. That's word to my satin jacket. Yeah. Trying to get two bricks for 50. Mix the cold dagger soul with the Fendi. Mix the Perry on with the Logan Baby. 20 birds stuffed in the mall, baby. Thousand for the kicks, that's a light day. Ruby Red rapping in the driveway, cry paying tenfold. Bury me next to a triple beam dipped in gold wrist froze. A lot of you niggas fall from air. Used to live three in the cell, shit was real. Commissary 320 a month, we blew that. Soon as I stepped on the yard, they like, who that? Moschino looks at night, I barely see a nigga. My repertoire in chinchilla. The lifestyle of a drug dealer. My but man, not coming home to 2050, nigga. It's like 50 fucking zippers on the biker jacket. From 86, I think Michael had it. The white gold master presidential roly with the black face. Raph on the bad day, Eve Saint for my class day. Class A, nigga getting suited like it's draft day. When it's time to go and cash bank, what's the fat rate? Imported fabrics out of Italy. Cop the wing teeth for the symmetry Got fashion in my chemistry, nigga Nigga uh-huh. It's Uptown Chase, Satin Jackets featuring West Side Gun It's tough Yeah, he was getting off on that Joe, you want to come announce your sleeper pick? Keep talking. <laughs> Keep talking about my sleeper pick. <laughs> you know Joe ready to play some some, some arts and chick. Shit. Yeah, you already know he been in the crib. It's raining. He he'll either Yeah, I already know what his vibe is. Yeah, like, he'll, he, he'll either do the unreleased shit off the sick. You know the, how you know he about the to biggest get into, record that week. Yeah, he about to get into his Y'all y'all have created that RB. y'all have created that narrative. What? And now people are running with it. They're hitting me about it. Oh, well, about welcome to our lives with, with this everything you say on the that podcast. I, that I play big records on my sleeper. No, I don't. No, I don't. Not big records, but no, I do not play big records. No, I wouldn't say big. I don't even play big artists like that. No, I think you pay like one, one, maybe, two, maybe two that I. Yeah, it's, been, Rory, it's, been, it's been like the yo, album every, of the week. Yo, I be letting Rory live because he's my white friend that I love. <laughs> All Rory sleepers been sounding the same for 50 episodes. 
The same oh. snare, the same drum. I let him live. This nigga love to say Rory got a the same the snare. the fuck out of here, man. And they fuck Rory and his sleeper. Rory loves his snare. Now, god damn it. Yeah, some shit you could vacuum good to. All right, now, Jameson, like new it. album. I like it too, but still. Jameson, new album, uh, and this is called Real Thing. Even though, wait a minute now. Hold up, man. Cut this shit off. Jameson, I really love your So Badly record. When I purchased your album, I was actually excited that the So Badly record was on there. Boy, you fucked that record up on your album. What the hell are you doing? I don't understand you niggas that get super creative. So you take that groovy ass, amazing beat and you start talking some Austin Power shit over it. You don't even sing over it. What is this album version of this bullshit? He talking the whole time. No, this is the beat. No, that's the hook. The night is young and I'm overcome with these feelings. <laughs> this this is Jimmy not in my version that I, that I have. <laughs> what what, it, what type of funky you. album version is this with the Rory voice? My hands behind my head. <laughs> Do I really have what it takes to get you off? Shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta shoot some shit now to feel hard again. <laughs> now, all right, to the Jameson hard shit. This is called Real Thing off that new Jameson album. In storage right now.
It's Meek Mill. Don't touch that down. I don't want to hear Meek Mill like, <laughs> <in that laughs> to follow up Jane in that tone again. <laughs> Yo, real real quick, you know what? You know what? Uh, I thought of a comparison over the weekend from Meek Mill that when I thought of it, I thought that my brain was bugging out until I thought about it some more, and, and it makes some sense. Want to hear it? Sir, here you go. Memphis Bleak. That's, I think that's been made before. Has I actually it? think we had a Meek yeah. and Memphis Bleak debate mm-hmm. two years ago on this podcast when we really? was in Totowa. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That means I'm not getting smarter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus. Oh. See, that spells trouble for a mind well, like why me. Why does that mean you're not getting Fam, smarter? Fam, if we had that talk two years ago, Maybe that stopped. More. That's that. Thought stopped my whole Saturday afternoon. It was no. definitely early mall days on the podcast. I know for a fact we had a, yeah, that, a, that, a talk I, similar to that yeah, with them two. I feel like we've had that talk. Hmm. I don't know if we recorded it. I know amongst each other we did. No, I'm pretty that, sure we recorded it. That talk. Don't tell people we talk amongst each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any final announcements? Rory got his plug in early. Uh, yeah. I'm not giving y'all the promo code because fuck y'all. Y'all should have it by now. We should be rocking. Yeah, we should be. We care about the uh, spot of, or no, who who purchased what? Uh, Sirius purchased Pandora. Let's get into great, that. Great for we, we, we wanted to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. let's save it, save it. How do we know that's great for Pandora? We can talk about it on Saturday. We'll have more information about it. Yeah, I'm going to go read something. Bet. All right. Until next time, next time being Saturday, I bid you adieu. Farewell to all of you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>